Everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Saturday Showdown. Tonight we'll be breaking open some cases of 2022 Tops Series 2. I've got three of those. We've got Chrome Platinum Anniversary. Got a case of that. What else we have here? 2021 Series 2 Jumbos. We have one case of that. We have a case of Diamond Kings as well. And anything else? And also, we have a case of 2019 Tops Update hanger boxes. So a whole bunch of stuff to rip through tonight. Hope everyone's having a very pleasant evening. Sorry that we're just a little bit delayed. I actually was on the road today. Drove about 12 hours. Well, it was supposed to be like 10 hours, but it was a 12-hour trip. Uh, my family and I, since this is our last week before I go back to school, we went to the beach and uh, tried to hit a couple card stores on the way back, but uh, didn't really work out that well. One place, the guy didn't show up for work today, and the other place was somebody's house, some just blue building. So I did attend a card show, though, sort of, kind of like a flyby, but stopped in, bought a couple cards at a card show on the way home as well as the kids stretched their legs. And now we're back, and we're breaking Series 2. First up, Series 2 tops... Jumbos. The way the Saturday Showdown works is whoever pulls the lowest numbered card in their pack will take home the entire case. So that's the way this works. So let's go ahead and get started with case number one. Good luck to everybody in here. And uh, let's go ahead and start I'm trying to get this straightened up a little bit with uh, Nathan. Black Panther asked, is uh, Patreon cost anything monthly? It's $4.99. We're going to get right down to the middle of each pack where all the good stuff will fall. There's a Shane Boz. That's going to be a blue, and it is unnumbered. Rays in a fight. Pretty good fight for their playoff lives right now. I think currently they're in, in that third wild card spot. It's a real interesting race right now. With multiple teams fighting for that spot. Alex says, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Had a really nice week and uh, back at it right now. Today we have this, the Saturday show. And we'll be back again tomorrow with uh, a big consignment. Unfortunately, nothing there for Samuel. No numbered cards in that one. Parker's up next with two packs. Let's see what we can find. Shout out to you, Mr. Baseball. Thanks for watching. Isaac pulled a... Drew Jones, second overall pick in the draft. That's a pretty good one. If you're wondering what that's worth, I have no idea. I would probably look on eBay recently. So there's our first number card. It's 1258. It's immediately knocked off by Mike Yastrzemski, 50 of 50. Man. So Yastrzemski is going to be the lead card right now. I know you would have probably liked have had that uh, be a little bit higher there, Parker. But you're the leader right now with a 50. Hey, Hunter, how's it going? Echo Places can't wait for... Mystery Box Monday. Mystery Box Monday. Let's see what we've got in this next one. I think we're going to do the Justin Harris. Justin Harris. Um, J. Claus Series 7, I think it is. J. Claus Series 7 coming up. Put that for sale tomorrow. So, Parker, you're in the lead right now. Let's see what we can find and for Mitchell. In spots number 5 and 6. Good luck to you, Mitchell. I do apologize because I think I called you Michael on the original list, but I think we got that corrected. We've got a Josh Hader who's really struggling. His earned run average up in the fives right now. Josh Hader, 297. Still has the stuff, but missing his spots left and right. Holy cow, I just got a notification. Albert Pujols just did a 691st home run. 691 for Pujols. Can he get 700? Man, I'm rooting for him big time now. To get 709 away. That's going to be tough. But I feel like you got to play him as much as you possibly can down the stretch. Here's pack number six for Mitchell. That's pretty awesome. I would love to see him just um, end right on 700. That would be pretty nice. If he comes up short, which it's likely he is going to come up a few home runs short. Adam says he just hit 692. Holy cow. I wonder if pitchers is just going to start grooving him uh, BP fastballs. Just to be like, hey, man. You know what? That whole 2020 pandemic, that kind of really screwed you over there. You, you should already be at 700 right now, if not for losing 100 and, what, 102 games we lost in 2020. Tools would already be there, if not for the pandemic. So, 
I don't know. I, I really hope he gets to 700. That would be pretty awesome. Because uh, if not, like I said, if not for that pandemic, he would definitely be there. Kind of like a uh, case of uh, just like Fred McGriff would have had 500 home runs if not for the 94 strike. He came up like, what, seven home runs short. If there, was, if there was no strike, he likely would have ended up right around 500, 501. Robert's up next. Robert's got all four of these. William, I have sent a lot of those, but I haven't sent all of them. Yours is still downstairs on the sleeving table. I got to get caught up on those. I'll do my best to get those out very soon. Shane Baugh's right there. This one's going to be number 10. That's our new leader. So Parker's been bumped off, and Shane Boz takes her with number 10. So I went to New York City for four days, and I came back for a couple days, and then right back out the door again, went to the beach for a week. I don't think I've been home since uh, very early Monday morning. So a little behind right now. I'm going to probably, after this Saturday showdown, work on getting last Saturday showdowns done. And then those ones, that uh, those historic cut signatures, those are pretty easy to ship. I just put them right back in the box, 326 there, and uh, just kind of drown them in packing peanuts in another box. Uh, Kasim says, can you get back to me about the order I put in or you can just send my money back? Kasim, what, uh, what did you send an order for? I have no idea what it's for. It's the first time I saw if you paid something recently. I'll go and check in my PayPal account. We'll get you added. You can pay in as we go along here. Let me know if, uh, if you paid for a pass break for whatever reason. Sometimes people pay for Saturday showdown when it's not even Saturday, like the next day. Send send it right back to you. But thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Nothing else in this one for Robert. Robert's our leader right now with a 10. Here we go with this last pack. We've got John Heasley. And Reggie Jackson. That's a short print of Reg. Joker says, I got here early. I just got ejected from my game. That's it's not good. What the heck did you get ejected for? And what level of baseball are you on? All right, so, Robert, you're in the lead with a 10. When does Topps Chrome come out? Typically, Topps Chrome would come out around the end of July. And uh, it was supposed to come out in August this year, but it has now been pushed back the whole way to September 30th. So, yeah, they just keep pushing it back and back and back. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Next up, Jessica Limbo. Let's see what we can find for you right now. Eli and Jessica... In our next one, am I looking forward to the World Baseball Classic? Um, as of right now, no. Once the playoffs are over and it's time for baseball, you know, I'll probably start looking forward to it. Hey, Tricky, best sports cards, the Dollar Super Chat. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for the donation. Jessica Limbo up next. Here's three packs for you. Let's see if we can get Jessica her one of one that she's been after for months now. PSA 9, Wander Franco, first bone for 30. Man, that does sound like an absolute steal. I think his, uh, there's Juan Yepes in the very first pack. I think his PSA 10 of his Topps card is now, oh, it was $200 a couple months ago, but it is now down to, uh, I think, around 100 maybe even a little less. Nothing in that one. Got the autograph, though. Next one up. Are black box cards reprints or official rookie cards? Carlos, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about there, the black box cards. I am not sure what you mean by that. I know that uh, there's those black uh, border cards that are unnumbered out of 50, and I think it was Heritage. What does the Patreon membership entail, asks Ross? We'll give you access to all of our breaks and Saturday showdowns. So, for example, if you signed up on Patreon, you can go right now to the post section and see all the spots that we listed for this Saturday showdown with the prices, and it gives you payment instructions, and all you have to do is follow those payment, payment instructions, and uh, we'll get you added to the list as we go along. Jessica, thank you very much, but unfortunately, you have been eliminated. Next up, 14 and 15, Justin Pittman with uh, two packs. Let's see what we can find for you here. We got Christian Arroyo right there. Wander was supposed to be back. He was on a rehab assignment. He was supposed to be coming back soon. He had soreness in his hands. So they shut him down again. So the Wander market is just 
absolutely collapsed. Most of his cards falling like 75% in some cases. And uh, yeah, maybe once he gets back, might rebound a little bit, but he's since kind of been overshadowed by J-Rod Mania. Nothing else numbered here. You saw the gold card for you, Justin. Zach, please act with the 525. So you unfortunately are eliminated. Next up, we've got Chris and Sydney Morales. So 16, 17, 18, 19. That's four packs worth. Christian Royer is playing Unreal Baseball, one of the hottest players. I'll have to look into his recent stats. I didn't even realize that uh, he was on a hot streak. All right, next up, we have a Victor Caratini. That's a 56. Do I think Pujols will hit 700? The only way Pujols is hitting 700 if uh, he's getting the Chan Ho Park slash Kyle Ripken treatment where Chan Ho just grooved Ripken a BP fastball, no one all-star game. If the team is up or way behind, I think Pujols is going to get some nice, easy meatballs. So maybe. It's, it's possible. What if he ends at 699, though? I was thinking, man, if you're at 699 and you're one home run away, how how bad would you just want to come back the following year and just get 700? This one's a 54 on the Dylan Carlson out of 199 on the red Dylan Carlson. Noah's in the house. That's John Winkler. Says two college kids now. That was a pretty big bill last week, man. That's, uh, yeah, that's definitely going to be a big bill. I don't know what, uh, I don't even know what college costs anymore. Back when I was in school, it was pretty expensive. Then it's probably like 50% uh, to double now what it was. I think if you go in state around here, it's a little less. Actually, a lot less. I went to a private college, so it was, uh, I think it was like almost 30 grand a year when I was in school. Ross McCain just became a new member. Thanks, Ross. I really appreciate that. Thanks for signing up. Check us out tomorrow for a members only portion of the auctions. Mr. Baseball, thank you very much. 1952 on the Gavin Lux. Lux having a, a kind of a bounce back year. Bryce Harper is, uh, is he back yet? I, I saw that he was poised to come back. I don't know if he appeared in action yet, but Harper is healthy again. Uh, NSS says, will we be uploading more videos from future uh, other cities, similar to the New York City miniseries? If you guys like them and uh, we can make it work in my schedule, yeah, I'd love to do that. Right now I have a South Carolina little mini, mini, mini series. I, I hit up, what do we do down there, Heather? Three card stores, I think, and I think one of them was worthy. I, I go to card stores a lot, and then I'm just like, this isn't, this isn't good enough. So... We went to, I think, three card stores in the area, and I found one that I was uh, comfortable with making a video about. So I have that one. Um, that spot's already been sold. I might do that one tomorrow, maybe. And then I also stopped at a flea market down there as well and uh, found some cards there. I might put that with the card show on the way back. I see some payments just came in, so we'll check into that here in a minute. So it would be cool to do... Uh, do some mini series and go to uh, maybe take a weekend here, a weekend there, go to a different city. All right, so Jason, unfortunately, nothing numbered there. So we're going to move into the next box. Before I rip into the next box, I'm seeing some payments come in during this live stream. And I need to keep up to date. Otherwise, I'll fall way behind. And I like to uh, just kind of give you a verbal shout out and be like, hey, got your payment and this is your spot. So. All right, so Sylvia Stout, I got you for three in the 2021 Series 2. Tyler sent uh, for one spot in Series 2. So we're going to have uh, spot 53 in the second case, Tyler T. And Justin Collins is going to get four spots in 2021 Series 2. Yes, you can. Justin Collins, you're going to have... 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right, so I saw those two two payments come over, and I think we're up to date now. Let's get back to this. Uh, Timmy says, I just watched the box where you guys had a dud of a box. It was pathetic. <laughs> yeah, what was the autograph in there? I can't even remember. It was like a dollar auto. It was bad. It was bad, so yeah. I was hoping it would be kind of cool if we would have hit the J-Rod or something like that. That would have been nice. But it was uh, maybe the worst box of Series 2 that we ever opened. I think there was like a Salvador Perez relic in there. And then the autograph was a bum. 
not really worth anything. Hey, Gary, how's it going? Next up, Andrew with four packs. Let's see what we can find for you. Was it like Emmanuel Rivera or something? I, we actually filmed that video like three weeks ago, so I can't I can't even remember. If you're thinking, didn't you just film that this morning? Why can't you remember? We filmed that one like three weeks ago, and that's just one that's just been kind of in the hopper. There's Walker Bueller. There's uh, sometimes I film videos and they just kind of go on on the backlog, and sometimes I just totally forget about them. I still have to get around to doing that card store that I fled in terror from. Before I forget about it or accidentally delete it. Sometimes that'll happen as well. I'll just start. I'll have like a notification on my phone that my phone's filled up with memory. I'll just go start deleting all my YouTube videos that I've uh, put out there. Sometimes I accidentally delete footage that I haven't released yet. There's Aaron Ashby autograph, not numbered. Where did I go in Myrtle Beach? We went to. Um, we went a little bit south of Myrtle Beach, so South Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Thanks, Keith. I really appreciate that. Yes, yeah, eight away. I hope he can get there. Let's see if, if he can get. Uh, I don't know, maybe two or three more home runs this month. He, I think he could. I, I I don't think he can do it. He's just got to stay healthy, which hopefully isn't too much of a problem because he's going to be playing a lot of DH. Two seventeen on the Jordan Lyles. Two seventeen. Andrew Benintendi, who batted, I think, second in the lineup today with the Yankees. Bossman says, hey, if I join at the end of July and the last post is July 31st, I don't think I've seen anything from August. Um, as long as I'm not a member, you might have to go and re-up that. Sometimes it'll, I don't know, just not re-up. I don't know if you have to, like, click a button that says auto-renew or something. I'm not sure about that. You might just have to sign up again to uh, see that. All right, so Andrew, here's your last pack. Pirates fans, as I commented on the video and you liked it and highlighted it, I don't think I highlighted it. I just liked it. I go through and I read every comment. And to make sure that I know that I read your comment and you know that I read the comment, I always heart all the comments. So um, if you want to know if you're first or not, you can just go to all the comments and put them in chronolog chronological order from newest to oldest and just scroll the whole way back and see... Somebody said there's actually a uh, piece of software out there that I think it's called YouTube First Comment or something like that. And you can just, I think, um, control C, like control copy the the um, address of the YouTube video and it'll just tell you who the first uh, comment is. That's what I'm planning on using. Or, you know, during my uh, lunch breaks back at school, I'll just go through and I'll just compile the list that way. Just doing the same thing you just did, putting or that I just told you to do. Put them in chronological order and go back to the very beginning. There's always a lot of people that think they have the first comment, even though they don't. Am I still teaching Spanish full time? Yes, back full time to work, starting very soon. There's a 112 out of 300. That is a William Contreras short print with the Mother's Day gear on. Ben versus golf. So I've got five entries, but I need 10 to have a good chance to win that Acuna. Yeah, you are, uh, you're pretty freaking amazing at that. You must have really good internet. I, I, I don't know how you do it. I'm thinking about next month, I'm going to give away a Mike Trout autographed um, box topper, which is like a five or $600 card. And I think I might change up the rules a little bit where you have to um, comment within the first minute so that way if you're on like a uh, slower internet and you can't get the first one you'll still have a chance basically i'll just go and pick some pick somebody within the first minute i'll upload my video and then i'll just go and find somebody within the first minute and put them in there that's probably what i'll do next month all right so rebellion is out mark is up next at 27 and 28 no it says why wouldn't you limit it to one entry someone could actually get it all 30 days that hasn't happened yet. And um, since I didn't put that rule out there at the beginning, I'm not a big fan of just uh, making rules up as we go along. So that's why next month I'll change it. If I would have uh, thought people were going to get multiple entries, then I would have put it out there. But I don't like making them rules right in the middle of a, uh, a giveaway. So next month we'll have something. And maybe next month, maybe I'll make the mic trout for members only. That's another thing that I was thinking about doing. 1323 on this one. 
And we've got a Michael Brantley, which is not numbered either. Or should I say just not numbered? The gold was numbered, obviously. Top card number right now is a 10 on that Shane Boss. Here's the next one. Enforcer Torres. It's 2930. Uh, the big three rookie short prints in these packs. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Series 2. That's why Series... That's pretty much the only reason why Series 2 is worth opening. The, the base checklist is not that impressive. It's all about uh, looking for those short print rookie cards and the autographs. Hey, 357, how's it going? Next up for Enforcer. Enforcer and Renee, shout out to you guys. We've got a 63 out of 71 on the Tyler O'Neill on the black border card. Nice card. Mix says fun video at the card store, brother versus brother. Yeah, if you guys like it, which it seems like most of you did, then uh, we could probably do that again in the future. Maybe uh, maybe add in little wrinkles here and there. Instead of just doing like box wars, we could have some sort of contest for a box or something like that. For example, I was thinking uh, could challenge him to uh, some RBI baseball or something on NES. All right, next up, Matthew, spot number 31 through 40. Brandon says the Silver Slugger card was numbered. Let me go back and double check that. I usually flip all those over. Somewhere in this big stack of cards. Silver Slugger card was numbered. Good eye right there, Barry Larkin. And it was numbered 124 out of 299. So nice catch on that one. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer, 1995 MVP. Cindy says, is there any room in case two? There is. There is, um, right now there's about six, no, seven spots left in that next case if you'd like to participate. And then uh, we still also have spots in series, not series three, but case three is about half. Filled. Right now, let's go on to Matthew's box, 31 through 40. Let's see if Matthew can take it home. It's got to be to 10, which is doable, but it's not going to be super easy. There's Bryce Harper on the top. We've got a solar packs. Probably switch back and forth between products. Epic Edit says, does this video count for the contest? Yeah, it actually does, but you can't put a comment in until the video is done rendering, so um, you can just I'll be on standby, I guess, after I'm done streaming tonight. George says, I'm a Patreon member. How do I get in on the next case? Um, if you'd like to get in, you can just go to Patreon and follow the directions there. And I think next, what do you guys want to do next? Maybe we'll vote right now. What would you like me to do next? Here, let's vote. Um, and you have to let me know, Heather and uh, moderators, let me know if it knocks out my, after I'm done with the poll, when I close the poll down, let me know if it knocks out my little uh, pinned comment. What's next? Should we do 2019 update hangers? Should we do 2022 diamond kings? And the poll's going to be coming up, so you don't have to say it in the chat. Should we do 2021 Chrome Platinum Anniversary? Or should we do, what other option do I have? 2021 Tops Series 2 Jumbo. There we go. Four choices. We'll let you guys pick it. Matthew's next pack. Let's see what we can find in it. Silver Slugger, Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's flip them all over. Nothing numbered there. I saw his PSA 9 at the card show today. It was rookie card. Almost grabbed it. It was only $30. I didn't want to like spend a lot of time there, though. So I spent $17 at the card, card show today on the way back. Got the kids some food to eat. And luckily, the card show is right in the food court. So I just got them some food. And I was like, all right, so I'll give myself as long as it takes them to eat. So since I didn't have that much time, I just kind of looked around. If anything, like, really blew me away, then I would have grabbed it. Yeah, there's a ton of Nolan Ryan's there in the mix. 
He said that those boxes sat there on touch for like two months. So I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll go through them. Have the rookie short print cards gone down because of the um, complete set rookie variations. Here's a nice Wander Franca. It's going to be numbered. It's going to be a 94. I haven't really looked at the prices. I would imagine they may have dropped a little bit just because more and more are coming on the market as people open more and more Series 2. Do I think Dustin May should be the closer? I don't know about that. I saw he was activated. I kind of like him as a starter, though. A couple Tatis cards right there. I've been kind of avoiding look at, looking at Tatis prices. I'm going to probably wait like a month or two until I get them look. nothing here so we're down to just three packs left for Matthew here's a numbered card it's Gerardo Parra it is a 384 though this is numbered as well Alex Bregman 133 on the relic and nothing else left in that one Justin Collins just grabbed a couple spots in Chrome Platinum Anniversary. We got spots available in that one, so we will do that one, which is uh, probably going to be next. It's winning the poll right now with 34% of the popular vote. So Chrome Platinum Anniversary, unless it gets upset, will be the next one out. Just dropped a percentage point. Now it just gained a percentage point. Matthew's next pack. I'm going to go and double check the poll and see if it's... Oh, it's pretty close update hangers are at 31 and chrome platinum anniversary was uh three percent ahead so i'm going to end the poll right there hopefully it puts my pinned comment back in spot we're doing platinum anniversary next and if you want we can do hangers right after it i got a riley adams it's not numbered 40 bucks to 50 bucks for a psa 10 tatis how how wonderful that is and the mix says that the comment is back on top. Nice. Heather says it's up there as well. I did a uh, poll, what was that, like last week or two weeks ago, and it totally knocked off my pinned comment when I did it. So I'm glad. Thanks for letting me know. We've got a overarching battery, 170. With Adam Wainwright. Tried to go to Wayno's Cards and Fantastic Finds today in Jane Lou, West Virginia on my way back, but it doesn't exist anymore. It was like some blue abandoned building. It's like, hmm, that's kind of a cool name. Wayno's. Unfortunately, wasn't there. Then I went to a Bowman Brothers Cards, which is like four and a half hours away from me in, uh, what, what's the town again? It starts with a B. Maybe it was like Buckley, Virginia or West Virginia. And uh, went there. Said they were supposed to open at 12. Got there at 12.05. They're closed. It's like, all right, kids. Let's go get some lunch. So we went to Pizza Hut. It was the first time that uh, the first time that I had Pizza Hut, like in a Pizza Hut restaurant. I didn't even know they still existed anymore in like 20 years. So we had Pizza Hut, got gas, went back almost an hour later. Still closed. It's like, oh, that stinks. Because they had good reviews online. I thought I could get a whole video from their store. And then Heather messaged them and Turns out they had gone to some card show. I wonder where that card show was. Maybe It was probably the Winchester, Virginia card show, which just wasn't really on my way back. So I, I skipped that one. All right, so Michael up next at 41 and 42. Heather says they messaged back and said he's sorry he wasn't there. And yeah, that's too bad. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to go back there since it's like four and a half hours away. It's not worth just going down there for the trip for one card store and taking like literally an entire day and probably like a uh, hundred and some dollars worth of gas. White Sox Tom says Pizza Hut was not the same as it was before. Man, it was weird. It was weird. It was, uh, it was, we went there at like 1210. Whoa, there we go. Bobby Witt Jr. autograph. 
Bobby Witt Jr., one of the top rookie cards in this set. And we have just pulled him. And this one is going to be in Robert's stack right now. So there it is. That's probably the second best autograph you can pull from this product right behind the J-Rod. Let's go ahead and utilize a one-touch for this bad boy. Uh, I think that's the third or fourth time we've pulled this Bobby Witt Jr. And Robert, congratulations. You got to hope you can hang on to this right now. This entire case, this first case, is all sold out. So if you were hoping to jump in there to try to wrestle that one away, can't get any more, uh, no more shots at that one. That's a big pull right there. I hope we can pull one of those in every case. I'm talking about like a big three type auto. Unfortunately, it's not numbered, and Michael, you have been eliminated. Clement's up next at 43. I think see George just grabbed some Trent Platinum. As we go to this next one for Clement, looking for a numbered card. He's got a Miguel Cabrera. It's upside down because it's just one of those blue border cards. It's not numbered. And nothing else in this one for Clement. But yeah, it was pretty weird. It was 12.10, prime lunchtime. And we were the, literally the only ones in the entire restaurant eating. So that just kind of tells you something. John, we went to uh, we went to south of Myrtle Beach. I rented a house that was uh, maybe like 20 miles south of Myrtle Beach. It was kind of nice because we had a pretty private uh, spot. So there wasn't a lot of other beachgoers there. Although some lady wanted to almost fight me. Oh, man. So... We we're on the beach, and we we're playing a game. It's a football game. Heather says you picked the best house. Thanks, Heather. Yeah, it was great. It was uh, from the back door to the ocean. It it literally took thirty seconds to walk into the ocean from the back door. It was right right there. But uh, we were back. Uh, we're back playing football, and uh, we we're having a contest. Me and Robbie. We made our own little game. So the the ground rules were. You start at level one, you throw the ball. If it hits Heather's hands in any capacity, you move to level two, which is like 10 feet farther back. Okay, so kept moving back and moving back. I moved back to level five. And then uh, I stepped on something, this little black thing. I was like, all right, this is probably going to be a twisted ankle. So I kicked it out of the way. I, I thought it was a piece of trash or something. And uh, this lady got really, really mad at me. She was... Uh, Little, little older than me, and uh, she really let me have it. And I was like, what? She's like, you just kicked our ball. I was like, oh, I didn't, I thought that was trash. And she's like, and she's, she just gave me this like motion, like get out of here. And she's, she was um, just very rude. She said a couple other things. I was like, you have to be rude about it. I didn't even know that that, that was yours. I didn't even realize you were playing here. And uh, so she said her thing. I just gave her like the, like the wave draw off, like, get out of here. Then I just went in the ocean, but there's like a bocce ball. I guess it's like a little, little black, little tiny black, almost looks like a bouncy ball. And uh, she was uh, really, really mad about me. <laughs> I guess I stepped on it and then like, like kicked it a foot to the side. So I didn't like step on it again. I didn't realize what was going on. So I think it's called bocce ball. So just uh, let her have her, her territory there and, Went into the ocean. Luckily, didn't get stung by jellyfish this year. Last year, we all got stung by jellyfish. Well, not all, but a lot of us got stung pretty good by jellyfish. Myself, my daughter, uh, Timmy, all probably got stung by the same jellyfish. Only saw one jellyfish this time. Played some blitz ball on the beach. Oh, yeah, she definitely acted like a kicked her dog, Johnny's. She was not happy that I stepped on that uh, bocce ball, little black uh, ball there, but... Um, Played some blitz ball on the beach, which was really fun. Um, took like a shovel and like just dragged out a whole like outline of a baseball field. Next up, John Bark with five. So here's three, John. I'm going to get you two in the next box. Let's see what we can find in this next one. We've got a Dylan Carlson. It's going to be a short print Dylan Carlson, not numbered. Mike Piazza is going to be the manufactured relic. And nothing else going on here. Next one up. Big Bobby Witt Jr. The Super Cool Man says we also do that except with Wiffle Ball. Nice. I actually think I'm a much better Wiffle Ball player than Blitz Ball. I can't make the Blitz Ball move. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
With wiffle ball, I feel like I can control the ball a lot, lot more. I'm a much more effective pitcher. Blitz balls, I pretty much just throw meatballs every time I pitch. Gotta have to, I guess I'm gonna have to watch some videos about it. But we were playing casual mode, so we were just throwing meatballs in there. We weren't trying to strike each other out. 547 on the Josh Hader. And nothing else there. So, John, I owe you, like I said, two more. The mix says, have you been watching any of the Little League World Series? I have not. Unfortunately, I don't have cable, so I can't watch. And then the past week, we were on vacation. So I caught bits and pieces of it here and there in a couple card stores I was in. That's about it. I have no idea who's in it and who's out of it. Willie says, I also used to play football with my family and close friends when I was younger. Um... We used to play football literally every single day. Johnny says, isn't kicking the ball the name of the game, Hacky Sack? I don't think it was Hacky Sack. It was a little black ball. I think it was like they throw that ball out there and then they try to throw like other balls at it. Let's see who's closer. I have no idea. I saw Mike Trout's back in the lineup. Um, yesterday he went one for four, batting second. So he's back. I saw his rookie card continues to drop. You can get a PSA 10 of his rookie card now for about $1,500. It was about 2000 just about a month and a half ago. So, man, that car's really, really, really gone down. All right. So, John, you've got two more packs. Let's see what we can find for you. Dave Bruns says I paid for a Series 2 2022 one pack. Well, maybe you're already on the list. Did you just pay? If you just paid, off to add you in. But you won't be in there until probably the next round. This round is all sold out. Nothing in that one. Here's John's final pack. Ethel says Pennsylvania did a good job today in Little League. Nice. I wonder how how are those teams formed? Are they travel league teams? Oh, here we go. This is a good one. It's a red autograph, which will be out of 25. It is 19 out of 25. Close on that one. That's probably actually the second best. Or second lowest numbered card there, John. So close, but uh, not quite good enough. Jim Markovich is up next. They're all star teams. That would be awesome. I I, I really hope that uh, Robbie has a chance to do that when he's twelve, playing an all star team, and uh, maybe get to go to the Little League World Series. So uh, Justin Collins grabbed four spots in twenty twenty one. I got that. He grabbed two in Chrome Platinum Anniversary. I'll add that right now. 35 and 36. George grabbed a spot. He'll be at 37. Ben's dog obedience grabbed three packs from series two. That's Ben versus golf. So I'm going to put Ben versus golf. You're going to be at uh, 54, 55, and 56 in series two, the second case. And home visions just grab one pack. You're going to be at spot number 57 of the second case. So I think we're all up to date right now. Jim Markovich coming up next. We got Chrome Platinum Anniversary after this case. There's Frankie Lindor leading things off. Mets having a great season this year. They might be the best team in New York. I think they actually are now with the Yankees just uh, in the second half. They were like 9 and 19. That's a nice Strasburg. 60 out of 76. 9 and 19 in the second half. Tale of two seasons. The Blue Jays are now in single digits at the open of the day today. The Blue Jays are only eight games back of the Yankees. So, who knows? Maybe my crazy World Series prediction will end up being right. There's the home field advantage. It's Raphael Devers. Very nice. I picked the Blue Jays to beat the Dodgers in the World Series during spring training. So, I have to stick by that. It, uh, it could happen. I never know. Unfortunately, Jim's out next up at 55 and 56. Shane's coming up. Notice that each community with a Little League Baseball program conducts a championship of this season comes to conclusion they select an all-star team okay so that's the team that goes is there enough time for pools to get he only needs eight now i think they're i would give him a 50 50 shot at this point uh, jay brunson says i'm home visions perfect you're in there so there's a little gnat that just landed on my shoulder bat that thing away nothing in this one for shane right here it's 56 And there's Akil Badu, who's been up and down this year. As a whole, the Tigers offense has been has been primarily down. There's a 289. And this could be interesting. Andrew McCutcheon. Man, another red. 
22 out of 25. Close on that one. Anytime you see red, it's going to be a low-numbered card, but not quite good enough there. 57 and 58. Coming up for Kevin. I don't know if, uh, if Robbie and Timmy would be eligible then. Robbie does travel baseball. I don't know if that's, uh, that would count as Little League or not. Timmy as well. All right, Kevin, here we go. Johnny said he's finally picked up some one touches today. Nice. Those will come in handy. 436 on the Lane Thomas. Brian Reynolds, I almost picked up his rookie auto today at the card show. It was 25 bucks. I thought about it and uh, thought about it. Went back to it, but ended up not grabbing it. Fortunately, Kevin, you're out. Here's the last one. 10 is still the top card. Matthew's got to beat a 10. Running out of time to do it. Just two packs left in this case. And then we have all the silver packs to rip open as well. Is the gates open two hours before the game time in Pittsburgh? I have no idea. I have no. I haven't been to a uh, batting practice at PNC Park since May of 2019. From what I think, I think it's 5:30 now. I think it's 90 minutes. If you really want to check, go to uh, Pirates.com and go to their um, frequently asked questions page. Or uh, I think it's called A to Z Guide to Go Under Gate Times. We still have not been to a batting practice at PNC Park. Um, me, Robbie, Timmy, and Heather. Oh, this is numbered. It's a Wade Boggs. It's going to be a 205 on the Silver Sluggers card. 205. Not going to get it done, though. Down to the last pack. In this case, Ryan Valade's on top. By the way, big auction tomorrow night. Hope you can join us. It's going to be a consignment auction. Ichiro short print. Not numbered, and that is going to do it for this case. So, Robert, congratulations. You've taken the case. Big Bobby Witt in there as well. Can you see Greg's comment? I don't... Um, says, anyone want to look back at that Miggy die kit? I think it was a one of one. We flipped them all over. So, if you want to go back the mix and see... I don't know how far back it was. If you can go back and pause it and take a look at it and see if you can see the one of one on there, that'd be cool. But otherwise... That'd be pretty crazy if it was. All right, so Matthew has been eliminated. And uh, Robert, you've taken this case. So let's go through all of these and check. Best card is on the screen right there. It's the Bobby Witt Jr. What's the difference between 2018 Tops Holiday Bat Down and and um, the short print? Well, there's probably like 100,000 more of them. That's why. The uh, Top Holidays used the same image, but they printed a whole bunch of them. It was, it was just a regular card in the regular set. All right, so we're gonna go through all of these silver pack cards right now and see what we can find in here. Hopefully we can find an autograph. That would be pretty awesome, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Wanda Franco, we'll get that one sleeved up. We got Hyunjin Ryu, that's out of 150. Purple is going to be Alex Kirloff out of 75. Juan Soto. He's doing okay for the Padres. Hitting like 280 something. Not a lot of power yet. I think he's got one home run for them. Your brother opens packs and shuffles cards the opposite of you. Yeah, I noticed that too. Um, maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just a weirdo. I don't know. I start my right hand, I push him into my left like this. Nick Castellanos autograph. Very nice. 
This one's numbered out of 99, Nick Castellanos. I'm right-handed, and I shuffle this one. I think a lot of people shuffle it the opposite way. But that's just, that's literally the way I've done it ever since I was a little kid, like eight years old. That's how I shuffled my cards. And that's how I continue to shuffle my, I can't go the other way. You want to see? I can't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, do you, do you go like this? Do you pull them with your thumb? I don't even know how to do it. Like, do you have to like grab it with your thumb and pull it over? With this, I don't even have to do it. It's just so like effortless the other way. So I don't know. That's just the way I am, I guess. Maybe, uh, maybe I was supposed to be a lefty. But um, for whatever reason, I ended up being a righty and pretty much everything else. Use my right hand to throw with, write with, all kinds of eat with. All right, so next up we said Chrome Platinum Anniversary, so let's go ahead and do it. Here's Chrome Platinum. It's up right now, so best of luck to all of you in Chrome Platinum Anniversary. The way that Chrome Platinum Anniversary is set up, it's in four-pack lots. So we'll see if we can get lucky and find another Mickey Mantle 52 short print. Dub says, I'm left-handed, I do it your way. All right. Maybe I, maybe I do it the lefty way. Maybe, 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 I guess. I need to make a poll and uh, it would have four options. Like I'm right-handed and I go right to left. I'm right-handed and I go left to right. I'm left-handed and I go right to left. I'm left-handed and I go left, uh, left to right or whatever. So, All right, so Eric, you've got four packs. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we can find for you in your four packs. Do I eat pineapple pizza? I do not like pineapple pizza. I will never, never consider, even consider eating it might also make me weird there to some of you. All right, so here we go with this next one. Nothing numbered there. The numbers are few and far between in Chrome Platinum. They'll always be on the backs of the uh, uh, final card in the pack. Michael's up next. It's spot number two. What did you eat a pizza? We got stuffed crust. My son got wings and a personal pan pizza. And the rest of us shared a stuffed crust. And of course, they had like one piece each. So I had to eat like freaking half of the pizza, four pieces. Castellanos, not numbered. Next, Michael Jansta with four. Good luck to you, Michael. B&B says, I was just in Cooperstown. They have a nice top store. Like, where's their top store? Is it literally in the Hall of Fame? I haven't been to, the, to uh, Cooperstown in probably about 10 years now, maybe even a little longer. There's the autograph. It's Frank Viola, and it is not numbered either. So, unfortunately, Michael is out. Stephen Carpenter, who's taken a case of these before, is up. Jay Silverman says, Pools was just feet away from hitting a third. Man, that would be awesome. If he can get to 700, I really hope so. Hey, if you think he's going to get to 700, you might want to grab some of, his, uh, some of his cards now because his cards are going to spike if you haven't already grabbed his rookie card already. Pujols will spike, and then uh, I think what's going to happen is he'll spike. Nothing numbered there, by the way. He'll spike, and then uh, after he retires, he'll come back down. So if you miss the boat on Pujols, his cards are going to come back down a bit, and then... Once uh, once it becomes time for the Hall of Fame, he's going to spike right on back up there. Chad's up next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got all eight of these. Still literally no numbered cards yet. Mark says, found out I get a discount at Fanatics. That's pretty freaking awesome. How many more spots do I have in Series 2? In the third case, I have... 27 spots. In the second case, I only have three. There's a numbered card in here, Chad. I just saw some gold numbering. Let's see what we can find. It's going to be that gold border card coming up. Might be that this is be numbered as well. Freddie Freeman. That's going to be a 61. That's going to be our leader for right now. 
and Pop Gibson right after out of 50. Actually, 25. 10 of 25. So that's even better. So Chad, 10 of 25, the lead card. 10 is the lucky number tonight. With Mary Field, this Craig Beijo. I grabbed a couple of his rookies tonight for a quarter piece. Brent says, you have me in the second case. Um, yep, 28 29, you're in there. So Chad, you're the top dog right now. Let's move on to the next box. Let's see if we can find. Justin Collins has eight packs as well. Good luck to you, Justin. Did I play the bad card store video? Nope. I didn't, uh, I didn't I didn't even make that video yet. I hope I didn't accidentally, accidentally delete the footage either. Roger just became a new member. Thanks, Rog. Appreciate you signing up. We'll have some members only time perks for you tomorrow night during our auction. Mark says, go back and make a video. I want to see it now. Probably only take me 10 minutes to make the video. I only took a minute of footage in there. Nick says, good evening. I received a big box of cards. Yeah, man. I was like, should I do this in like three shipments? I'll just do it all in one. Luckily, I had a big empty case. Nick had two showdown wins, plus I think some other stuff as well. I think that was the last thing I got out before I went away to the beach. I was like, I got to get this stuff in the mail. You Darvish is not numbered. And anything else? Nothing else there. That refractor is not going to be numbered. So Justin is out. Next up, Enforcer with four spots. Let's see what we can find for you. Chad's still the leader right now. How does Patreon work? This is Alex. It's pretty simple. Um, it's like uh, it's like a site behind a paywall. You can only get access if you're a member there. $4.99 to sign up and it gives you access to all of our breaks. So for example, this break right here, if you're interested, all the directions and payment instructions are right there. There's the autograph. It's Jose Garcia. Under the post section, I will periodically post the breaks, like all the, the standalone videos I do. There's a 58. Those are all posted. And if you're on the lowest tier, you have the same, same uh, opportunity as people in the highest tier. Like I don't like only give $300 members certain videos and everyone else other ones i just post it and whoever signs up first for those one spot videos we'll get them israel's up next with four i think clearly authentic is coming next month or next week i gotta double check Diamond Icons was supposed to come the 17th. Did that come out yet? I was like, man, I missed that on vacation, but my case guy never hit me up to let me know that uh, maybe maybe he wasn't able to get a, a case of it. I don't know. It's usually a low print run release. Nothing else. The manual you pulled last week was damaged when you opened it. It looked like it was on the bottom. Yeah, the, the film, I think there was film on it, and the film was like coming off of the card, like right out of the pack, so... I just left it like that. The Sandberg's a 20 out of 70 on the mini diamond. 20 out of 70. Nothing else in this one. So, Israel, thank you very much. So, Dan Schultz has five. Five times four is 20. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's eight. I get, I'll get you 12 in the next box, Dan. Yeah, Patreon is good for all month long, so you could uh, have access to any breaks that you wanted to. It also helps support the channel, help us go around to different uh, locations to do videos. If you get a subscription to Patreon, will you get any break? The ones where I ha uh, well, ones where I have a lot of product, yes, like this one. Um, so far, not a single round is sold out, so there's still plenty of spots available. Sometimes there's limits. And I only have like one case of certain products and those ones will sell out and I won't have enough spots, but I always uh, try to make sure that we have enough for everybody. Nothing there. So Dan, I said I owed you 12 more packs. Let's go ahead and get right to it.
scuff them around a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. White Sox Tom says that uh, Aaron Boone had a meltdown today. I'll have to check that one out. Or maybe I'll just wait for, uh, you know that's good on John Boy's channel because he's a big Yankees fan. I'm sure he'll break that one all down for us. All right, Dan, so here's these 12 packs. Saw at least one or two numbered cards. Got to be the 10 right now. The autographs are as well. Man, Frank and Columbia, what a crap auto there. That kind of stinks. Sometimes you get a whole bunch of Hall of Fame autos from this product. Other times, we give you guys like Franklin Colome. So let's see here. Austin Riley having a really good season. X Factor of Luis Robert, not numbered. Got a Dom Smith blue. It's not numbered. Or I guess that would be teal. Here comes that numbered card. It's going to be the John Cruck. And this one is going to be a 45 out of 50. I guess Boone is feeling it because of... Uh, there's the autograph, by the way. The Yankees have been pretty terrible the second half. Like, downright bad. It's probably not too happy about it. And uh, stressed out a little bit. Enforcer, spot 16 is up next. Boone slammed the desk during the press conference. Nice. Have we pulled the Grandpa Jeter yet? I'm sure he's probably coming up if we haven't seen him already. I haven't lingered on his creepy face uh, tonight yet. Enforcer, unfortunately, is out. Matthew has five times four. That one's going to be 20. Will Brett Beatty have any cards yet? Brett Beatty is probably, I hate to tell you, probably not going to be until Series 1 next year. I don't think he's going to be an update. A little bit too late of a Major League appearance for Brett Beatty, so Series 1, I would bet you. Update is pretty much already being printed. I think we found out unofficially the uh, update cutoff is like June seventh or something like that. You got to be in, be in the big leagues before then. All right, Matthew. Here's uh, what we got here: like eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I, I will owe you twelve packs in the next box as well. It comes out before Chrome this year. It's going to be close. It's only like a two-week difference right now, I think. All right, Matthew, let's see if there's anything in this first run of eight packs. Got a red. That's good news. Alec Mills. It's going to be a 67, though. Not going to beat that 10. Let's get your next 12 packs and see what we can find in those. Matthew can't take this. He'll be back again. He's in Series 2 with a full box in Case 2 coming up. We'll do our hangers of 2019 update next. We've got a whole ton of them to do. It's, I think there's like 10 or 11. All right, Matthew. So I said 12 more, right? Let's go ahead and count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 50 says Peter said he'll never manage. I wonder what Jeter's going to be up to now. Not if he's no longer the CEO of the Marlins. I wonder what he's doing now. Nick says, is everything sold out? Um, no. Let me, let me tell you what's left. Let me pause this for Matthew. I saw Jackson just sent over a payment for something. And uh, I just want to check what he grabbed before I tell you. All right, so Jackson grabbed some spots. Mike grabbed some spots. Mike Morris grabbed a spot of Chrome. Mike Morris at spot 38 here in this round. And Jackson has eight packs, last three in the second case, and then five in the other case. So Jackson has just sold out the second case. So that's 58, 59, and 60 of case two, and then five in the next one, Jackson Blake. 
so uh, we've got 32 spots in the second Series 2 case. There's plenty of spots in the Series 2 2021 Jumbo case, like 22 spots. Chrome Platinum has like 21 spots. Hanger Cases has like 50 spots. Um, Diamond Kings has uh, like 15 spots. So it looks like that's what we've got open. All right, Matthew, let's continue on here. See, the Reds are beating the Pirates 7-1. to The Battle of the Cellar Dwellers. Mad Cal just signed up on Patreon. Thanks, Mad Cal. Or signed up on the channel as a channel member. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Tune in during our auction tomorrow night. I might have some special uh, opportunities for you. 37 on that one. Chris Paddock's not numbered. Still sleeve it. Reggie Sanders X Fractor. There's a blue at the back. It's going to be numbered. Dryas Del Refractor is not numbered. Here's that blue. It's going to be Sean Green. A Sean Green blue numbered 144. And that's it for Matthew. So next up it's going to be Jamie or Jaime. Let's see what we can find for you in your four. Is there a paper with the stream prices? It's all on Patreon. I just decided to leave it there tonight. I was running a little bit late. I was already like 10 minutes late. So I didn't have time to go print one of those little cell sheets. Nothing in there for you. So thank you, Jamie. Next up, Jim with four. What's my favorite baseball team? That's a great question. I mean, I, I would root for the Pirates, but honestly, I don't. It doesn't bother me one bit if they win or lose. But the Pirates are my local team. Now, if they were in the in a fight for the uh, division or a wild card spot, I would really be all up in arms. Gary Matthews or Sarge. This one is not numbered. So Jim unfortunately is out. Frankie's up next. So Frankie here's four, and I'll get you four more in the next box. Nationals. Padres may, uh, man. Josh Bell has not been that great for the Padres. Soto has been just average. Hater's been terrible. They gave up so much for those guys, and it's not working out right now. Wouldn't that be something that the Padres missed the playoffs this year? That would just be more... More disappointment going Tatis's way for his mistake. The Sarge was numbered. Let me go back and flip that over again. Oh, it's up in the corner. Usually it's down there. So it is a an 82. Good eye on that one. I was looking down here where all the other numbers are. 82 out of 150 on the Sarge. All right, Frankie, here's four more for you. Tom's Chrome Platinum Anniversary. Lucas says Brewers fan here also. Man, Brewers. They're... Right, as if the season ended now, the Brewers would not be in the playoffs. It's going to be a really interesting race now with three wild card teams in each league making it. I really hope the Orioles make it. That's the team I'm rooting for the most. Fran Mill, the Fran Mill, Fran Mill Reyes. This is going to be an 85 out of 99. So, Frankie, unfortunately, you're out. Tell you what, Brandon Hyde, the manager of the Orioles, looks like he's probably going to get a lot of manager of the year votes because a lot of people penciled in the Orioles to lose 100-plus games, including myself. I thought they'd be awful playing in that division. They are in the thick of a wild card hunt right now. I think he should get some manager of the year votes. I think he's definitely top three. All right, Steven, let's see what we can find for you. You get eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what we can find for you. Hey, Ross, how's it going? Just go ahead and ask away. I have, uh, I have all night. Just ask here. I'll answer your questions right now because maybe somebody else has the same question. Plus, I get a lot of emails, so emails tend to get buried really quickly. Orioles and Mariners. Mariners would be in right now if it uh, ended today. I 
I see that Nick just grabbed this box. I'll we'll get you in there. All right, Steven, let's see what we've got. I think I saw a numbered card. There's Lord Ace Guriel. It's not numbered. Next year, the 53 man on a... That would be nice, 53 man on a three. I actually have a 53 man on a complete set that I'm planning on breaking up. 129 on that one. I just have to get around to it. I'm going to do a 53 set break. I bought a 53 set a long time ago. Look at this. 10 out of 75 is not going to be enough to beat the 10 out of 25. So close right there. When there's a tie like that, the second number, the denominator, becomes the tiebreaker. So unfortunately, Steven's out. James is up next with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and here is number eight. Good luck, James. That's tough, yeah. Really, really close on that one. Chad running the table there. Still hanging on. Am I going to be ripping any diamond icons? If I could find a case, if my case guy has one, I went on eBay to try to look for one. I didn't see any available, so I don't know if maybe it got pushed back. I will find out on Monday. Monday is usually my order day when I put in my orders for cases, so I'll see if I can get any. They are really, really expensive, though, but they're really fun to open because there's usually some really awesome cards in there. And unfortunately for this one, no number of cards in that run for James. Next up at spot number 30 is for James Grilly. Here's your four packs. All right, Sandra, thank you very much. Let's see what we can find here. Joey Votto. He's been shut down for the season with rotator cuff surgery. It's been a rough season for Votto. He only hit 205 this year. I think he had a negative war, too, of like negative 0 0.2. 11 home runs. Jason's up next. Spot number 31. All right, Jason. Let's see what we can find for you. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and populate that list with Nick's name. I said that he grabbed a spot. And he's going to be in this round, so i got to put him in there. He's got five spots of Chrome Anniversary, so... It's going to be 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43. He also has 10 spots of Series 2. So we'll give you a whole box there, Nick. 31 through 40 in the third case of Series 2. All right, Jason's up right now. Votto's starting to get old. Yeah, he had a really bad 2020 season. Remember that? But then he bounced back in 2021 and hit 36 home runs. So who knows? Maybe he has a bounce back in him again. We'll see. He's only got one year left in his contract. 2023 is the last year that he'll be with the Reds. Wow, we've got a nice autograph coming up. Anyone catch the name on that one? Nice autograph. Incoming right now. It's going to be, there it is, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. who missed the box. Most players sign in that box right there. He's like, eh. I'm just going to sign where I want. Vlad Jr. on card autograph. Nice card right there, Vladdy. He's, uh, he's coming around. He's up to like 26 home runs or so now. He'll probably end up in the mid to upper 30s, I'm hoping. I love Laddy. Nice one right there. Unfortunately, Jason has been eliminated. And a $20 Super Chat just popped up. It's from Isaiah. It says, hey, Jabs, I'm Robert Britton. I had a very hard and rough day. It says, coming home and re-watching the live stream to see I won the Series 2 case has made it all better. Thanks, a ton for your comment. Keep up the breaks. How about that, Robert? Yeah, congratulations, man. Sorry to hear that uh, you've had a tough day, but uh, glad that uh, this has been kind of a, you know, break that little streak there for the day. And thank you very much for participating. Thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, really nice autograph in that case for you too with the Bobby Witt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight for Eric. He spells his name with a C-H. I was actually named after somebody who spelled their name that way. And you got two numbered cards back to back, it looks like. I had an uncle named that, Eric. He spelled his name just like you do. And my mom changed the spelling a little bit. He put a K instead of a C-H. But uh, that's who I was named after. I spelled his name just like you do. So here we go for Eric, 32. Through 33, we've got a Nomar Mazzara, 
And it is going to be our new leader. Seven out of 99. There we go. Eric with the luck. Bob Gibson was a 10. Chad, unfortunately, been bumped off. Seven out of 99. No more. Mazzara does the job. Kyle Lewis, 18 out of 199. That's pretty good. Seven out of whatever is going to be a decent number. Kind of tough to beat. So, Eric, we'll see if you can hang on to it here. Almost, You're almost through. Here's what you've got to get through. You are going to be up against Lucas right now at spot number 34. And then I got a couple of people that paid during this live stream. So let me go ahead and get cards made for them real quick. It'll only take like literally like 15 seconds or so. Justin Collins has two packs. George has a pack. I'm writing really fast. So it might look like I'm autographing your name in some instances. 38 is from Mike Morris. Then the last card I have to fill out for this break, or this round at least, is 39 to 43. It's for Nick D, who's got five spots. So, Lucas, let's see what we can find for you. Here's your four packs. One, two, three, and here's four. Let's go to open them all up and see if you can beat that seven. White Sox, Tom, never a fan of Lewis. Yeah, a lot of people sent in his car to get graded. The X Factor is not numbered, by the way. A lot of people lost money on Kyle Lewis PSA 10s. Unfortunately, Lucas is out. But then, again, a lot of people lost money on anything PSA 10. I mean, even Mike Trout PSA 10s. Cards that everyone thought was going to be safe. And there was really nothing nothing safe when it, comes, when it came to PSA 10s when the market uh, really dropped off. Justin has eight packs. Let's see what we can find for you here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How about Tatis PSA 10s dropping about 80% from where they were about a year and a half ago? Not even a year and a half ago. From 250 to 40 bucks. I think Mike Morris may have grabbed another spot. I gotta double check this and see. Sometimes I get a notification from PayPal, and then like 10 minutes later, I'll get a notification from email. All right, Justin, eight packs. We've got Hanser Alberto. That's not numbered. And there's the old Grandpa Jeter face. Monty Irvin not numbered either, so Justin is out. Next up, it's spot number 37. This one is for George. Good luck to you, George. Griffey PSA 10s are a safe bet. That's a good point. Vintage has kind of been the uh, the safe haven when it comes to graded stuff. Anything vintage has pretty much held its value or increased, it seems like. Modern was a bloodbath this year in terms of uh, everything going down. All right, George, here's four for you. Crushing weekend. The market didn't drop off. It just went back to normal, back to the mean. Uh, maybe you're right. It really felt like a drop, though. George, you have a numbered card in there. I saw an autograph. Let's see who it is. It's Justin Morneau. It's going to be numbered. It is 72. Justin Morneau, 72 on that one. Nothing else there for George. So, George, unfortunately, you are out. Mike is up next. It's spot number 38. Let's get your four packs. One, two, three, four. Sweet Haze. I think that spot has already been filled. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, P. Wirt signed up first. First come, first serve. So I think you uh, you were just a little too late on that one. Yeah, Coastal Cards is the card store I went to in Myrtle Beach. And he said he watches my videos. And he gave me some swag, too. He gave me a hat. He gave me a swag bag. And I bought all of his mystery packs. He had these mystery packs there. I bought them all. There's five of them. They're called, like, Super Hot Mystery Packs. He also had a case filled with cards for 40 bucks. I was like, what's in here? He's like, oh, you know, all this extra stuff I have. This is how I just get rid of it. There'll be some numbered cards and stuff in there. He's like, if you uh, if you sold it off card by card, you'd make some money. So I don't know, we'll open up and see what's in there. Nothing else in that one, unfortunately, for Mike. Nothing numbered. So here it is, Nick. 
against uh, Eric. Let's see. Nick has five times. Five times four. That's 20 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I also have some packs left over from last week. 17, 18, 19, 20. Those are from the last box from last week. So we might as well just use those since we don't have, that way I don't have to open a whole other box for just one spot worth four, four more packs. This is the end of Chrome Platinum Anniversary. So we'll be moving into the hanger boxes next of 2019 update. There's an autograph. Four not there. Probably open, maybe we'll do half of them. Then we'll stop just in case he already has won it and walked it off. Yeah, I've already seen two numbered cards, although I caught glimpses of the numbers, and I don't think they're good enough, but we'll see. There's a, a teal. Not good enough, not numbered. Here comes a, wow, Larry Walker, Hall of Famer autograph right there. Gold auto of Larry Walker. This one is going to be numbered. It is up in the corner, 24 out of 50. So that won't get the job done. Seven is the lead card right now. Also, blue is coming up, which will be numbered also. Ashton Goudeau, it's going to be numbered 129 of 199. So let's open these up, Nick, and see if you can walk it off. What's the 52 SGC 9.5 mantle at right now? Last time I checked, it was like 6.2 million dollars. How much time is left if anyone's been watching it? How much time is left on that auction and what's the current price? Because I'm curious now also. Patrick says 61 and 61 should be the record. It's not the bonds record. There's uh, quite a few of you that feel that way also. All right, Nick, here we go. Let's wrap up Chrome Platinum. See what we've got going on with this. It's Dustin May. He's back tonight. Kent Home Run Beck. Bob Lemon may be your final numbered card. It is 16 out of 70. Good card, but not low enough. And that'll do it. Eric, you've taken the case. Congratulations on that. I will go ahead and get this sent out to you. Hopefully, I'm hoping to get this sent out by the end of this week. I'm a little behind because I took two vacations here, almost back to back. So out of the last, of the last 12 days, I've only been here for two, I think. So a little behind right now. So I got to get caught up with some other stuff, Eric, and I'll get to your stuff. Thanks for your patience. And now let's go ahead and uh, do the hanger boxes. Hangers up next. We're doing the 2019 hangers. Let's see what we can find in these. Probably see some Tatis cards in here. Fair warning. But the uh, the big card we're looking for, Samuel's up first, by the way, is going to be, for my money, the Vlad rookie card. I'm hoping to find that one in a gold. It's, I think it's about a $500 card. I have one in a PSA 10. All right, so good luck, Samuel, up first. Probably not going to find an autograph, but we will keep an eye out for all the good guys. Lots and lots of rookies in update. The good stuff, the numbered stuff, here we go. First one up, all the number stuff's going to be in the middle, but I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for Vladdy's and Pete Alonso rookie cards. 401, that's going to be our lead card right now. And nothing else numbered here. Go through the rest of these, see if there's any Vladdy's. There is not. Cindy says, how do we buy the mystery box Monday? I'm going to have a, uh, a sales sheet tomorrow for that. And um, basically, you just leave your PayPal email address, and I will send you an invoice. Box number two for Kevin Newman. Let's see what we can find for Kev here. 401 is the lead card right now. Yeah, hopefully no redemptions in this. 
There's Will Smith's rookie card. Aloy Jimenez rookie debut is a nice one. There's Pete Alonso rookie debut. I like that one. I'm going to sleeve Pete Alonso, who will probably get some MVP votes this year. He's having a great season. And we got a gold card coming up. Again, it's going to be a Justin Bohr. 401 is the leader right now, and uh, it's still the leader, 11 12. This is a gold stamp card. It's not numbered, though. Only the inserts are numbered with that gold 150 stamp. Nothing else numbered here. So let's see if there's a Vladdy in here. Another Pete Alonso. Austin Riley. Hey, got to sleep Austin Riley. He might end up being the MVP when this is all said and done. His stats are really good. All right, so Kevin, unfortunately, you're out. Next up at spot number three, it's for Jan Christie. Jan at number three. Let's see what we can find for you. Got to open these from the bottom. Tommy LaStella on the top there. Riley had an insane July. Yeah, he was probably really mad because he didn't make the All-Star team initially. I was like, what do I have to do? So, just went off. Absolutely off. And he may end up being the uh, MVP this year in the NL. We will see. American League is going to be a great race, too, because I think Otani is very deserving, and Aaron Judge, obviously, is very deserving also. I will say that uh, that blue is not going to be number. We'll flip it over and show you. If uh, if Judge doesn't break 61, I think i got to give it to Otani. There's the Vladdy. That's going to be his rookie debut rookie card. So hopefully, I, I would love to see Judge win it, but if he doesn't break 61, I, I think i got to give it to Otani because of what he's doing on the mound this year. Goldie is having an awesome season. Him and Luis Arise battling out for the major league lead. GP says, I sent you an email of my cards five days ago. I have not answered. I was on vacation, man. Sorry about that. Go ahead and forward it to me again. I'll take a look at it. If you're waiting for something to be shipped to you, I've just been out of town for 10 out of the last 12 days. Backed up a little bit, but I'll do my best to get everything caught up here. So Jan has been bumped out. Tim's got four. No, five. You have all of these, Tim. So, these are all for you. We might not even need to open them all. If you take the lead, I will save the other hangers. And put them aside, and we'll send them to you sealed. We'll call those your lifeline packs if you need them. you got to beat a 401. If that's true. The Angels would still be a losing team without Otani, but I don't know. I mean, they were a really crappy team last year, and he still won the MVP, right? He had a much better hitting season last year. Austin Riley goes in my sleeve pile. All right, let's see what else. There's the Vladdy. So we're taking all the Vladdies out. This is the first time we've seen him. All right, so here's the inserts. Start flipping them over here. There's a gold. Nice, Vladdy. 84. Take that one to sleeve it. The gold is going to be, it is a 303. So we have a new leader here. Tim, you're the leader. And um, bump off Samuel out of 410. All right, so we don't even need to open the rest of your boxes because you are the leader. We'll open it if you get bumped off. Otherwise, we'll send you steal. There's Tatis, which is not really worth all that much anymore, but still sleeve it up. All right, so these are all for Tim. Next, Chris Hall is coming up. Spot number nine. Good luck to you, Chris. We'll go back to Series 2 next after this. Do some more jumbos. Look for the J-Rod. That's correct. Heavens, the lowest numbered card. Numerator is what we're looking for. All right, Chris. There's the Vladdy rookie card, gun in my sleeve pile. All right, here's where the numbered stuff is going to potentially begin. Jonathan Lucroy is going to be numbered. So let's flip that over and see what it is. 
Lou Croy is an 1862. So 303 is the leader, and it's going to stay the leader for now. There's Pete Alonso home run card. They put a rookie card logo on that. It always bothers me that they didn't put a rookie logo on Judge's home run update card from 2017. So Chris is out. Eric Golden up next at spot number 10. Good luck to you, Eric. Let's see, Nick is sent over for some spots. Let's check that out. In a second. All right, here's the middle of the pack. Got a Robertson, which is not going to be numbered. It's just gold stamped. There's the back of it. So unfortunately, Eric, you have been bumped out as well. Just looking for this Pete Alonso's rookie card. Have you done Chrome yet? We just finished Chrome Platinum Anniversary. That was the last one. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. Sweet Hay says, it's because of you that me and my fiance are getting married? Thank you. <laughs> Glad to have you part of our family. How'd that work out? I I'm curious to know. What did I do? I'm really curious now. Um, that's awesome news. Congratulations. And I'm going to fill out a card here for a couple more spots that were grabbed here. The matchmaker says the mix. So Nick grabbed five spots. So Nick's going to have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we'll rip these open for you, Nick. 11 to 15. And we have a spot number 16 for George. Just got to rip these open now. And Edward just sent over a spot as well. Man, I might have to go get another sleeve of these. I don't know if I brought in enough. Because when we started this break, I think I only had eight of these sold. So I was like, yeah, probably only need maybe at most two of these. So I might have to go grab another one. So Edward Grimes, you'll have spot number 17. All right, good luck, Nick. Let's go ahead and rip these five open. If you take the lead, we'll put your other five aside, just like we did for 10. We might not need to go through all of them. So, Nick, one, two, three, four, five. Tatis has a zero chance for the Hall of Fame. I would say so. I wouldn't, I would not, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Until Bonds gets in, I don't think Tatis has any chance. Gotta have some of these, I mean, Bonds never even busted. I mean, obviously he did steroids, but he was never busted. Tatis was busted. Guys have been busted for steroids, like A-Rod. A-Rod had 696 home runs. He's not anywhere close to the Hall of Fame. He's getting like, what, 30% of the vote? Yeah, Tatis isn't getting in. All right, Nick, here we go. Tim in the lead with a 3 of 3. All it's going to take is one Independence Day parallel to get the job done. Let's go and see. There's Jimenez, Pete Alonso. Continue to sleeve up his cards. All you need is one Independence Day parallel. Here comes the hits. Carter Keyboom, 478 close, but no cigar on that one. Vladdy, family business card. Let's sleeve up that one. I like that card. Vladdy, family business rookie card. That's it for this pack. Keep an eye out for Tatis or Vladdy. Those guys are usually back-to-back -back in the second half of the packs. Moving on to next next pack. Patrick says, Feet Smolonzo. Looks like someone's a Yankee fan in here. All right, Nick, next up. Spot number two, almost the same collation here with the Pete Alonso, the Jimenez, and the Will Smith all at the outset. That doesn't really matter, though. It's what's in the middle here that counts. Another gold card It's going to be Kelvin Herrera. It's a 1371. Not good enough. 303 is the lead right now. That one's not numbered. Silver foils aren't numbered either. 
So Tim is still holding on here. There's Austin Riley. We sleep up all Austin Riley rookie cards, of course. Do you think they knew Tatis had steroids before his rehab? Yeah, I think he did. I think, I think he did because uh, I think he appealed it at first, and then he dropped the appeal. Probably hoping that he's like, man, I'm like the face of MLB. White Sox and Tom says, then his dad said he got it from a haircut. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like anyone who's ever been busted on steroids has always had an excuse. There's Laddie. Like, I've never heard anyone say, yeah, you know what? I just took them because I was, uh, I was trying to work my way back faster and thought I could cut some corners there. I don't think anyone's ever said that. It's just been like, just owned up to it. It's Queen City. This is going to be our new leader, 61. So Tim has been bumped out. Nick takes over. Congratulations, Nick. You're the leader right now with a 61. <clears throat> That's decent. Check the rest of your pack. Pete Alonso, Herman Cardinal, just leave it. But Tim has, uh, Tim's got some lifelines, so we'll go and check those out. Now there's Tatis and Vladdy. Nothing else in there. So these are still Nick's. There's two left. Tim's back in the spotlight. He had four left over, so. And he Pettit owned up to it. All right, I, I gotta give him some respect. Pettit probably may have been a Hall of Famer. His postseason numbers weren't all that impressive. Kind of average. I always liked Andy Pettit. He was usually one of my favorite players. So 61 is the leader right now. Tim's gonna try to get it back. Doing his packs right now. We'll see if he can get it back. He will come right back at you with a gold card. And it is going to be a 943. Not going to get the job done there. Nothing else. There's the Vladdy. All right, on to the next one for you, Tim. Brian Reynolds on the top. He's up to uh, 20 home runs now. Hit two home runs in the game the other day. Really underrated player. Yeah, people always forget about Rafael Palmero. He was so good. Yeah. You get his rookie cards in quarter boxes now, which is pretty crazy. Rafael Palmero. 3,000 hits, 500 home runs. Nowhere close to the Hall of Fame. So, I mean... Imagine Tatis getting 500 home runs with 3,000 hits. He's still never going to be in the Hall of Fame. I, I don't think so because of this test. Palmero um, really, really did it to himself when he went in front of uh, Congress and jammed his finger in their face and said, I've never done steroids, period. It was like super mad that they're even questioning him about it. Then he tested positive like two weeks later. Then that, uh, that sound bite just played over and over again of him saying that. It's really, oh, look at this. Eric Swanson could be out of 50, and it is 38 to 50. So just like that, Tim takes it back from Nick. Back and forth we go. Congratulations. Tim is back on top. And um, Nick has two packs left, so... Go through the rest of these and see if there's a Tatis or a Vladdy in here. I don't see what Austin Riley. Gotta put that one in the sleeve pile. All right, so Tim, here's your two. They go back with you. Now Nick's gonna try to take it back again. The seesaw battle rages on here. Let's see what we've got for Nick in this next one. Mike Trout is gonna be in the Hall of Fame. I think, yeah, for sure. Mike Trout's career could have ended from that back injury. Could have never played another game. I think he would still be in the hall. Just for his complete dominance. There's been guys like that in the past. Like uh, Sandy Koufax only pitched for nine years and his shoulder blew out. He's in the Hall of Fame. Here we go. Coming right back at you with the Dwight Smith. It is going to be a 753, however. That won't get the job done. So what was it? 38 is the leader right now. Check the rest of these. No big rookie in there. Here's Nick's final pack. Let's 
spot number 15. Nate Lowe on the top. All right, Nick, got to be at 38. There's the Vladdy. Base rookie card, sleeving that one up. Where does the good stuff start? Another gold. It's basically every pack has a gold card, which is nice. It's going to be Walker Bueller. It will be numbered 1623 on that one. And that's it. Nick has been bumped out. Tim, you were bumped out, but you got it back. Pete Alonso, rookie card. Tatis incoming. Mm, yep. Tatis and uh, if you see that home run derby card, then Tatis and the Vladdy are usually right after it. All right, so Nick has been bumped out. George is up next at number 16. All right, Mick says, I bet you certainly enjoy the side doors on the new hanger boxes. Yeah, a lot easier to open up for sure. All right, George, let's see what we've got for you here. A lot of tearing and stuff in these with these. Spencer Strider, yeah, he's uh, he's probably going to be a definite top three finisher. Looking really good right now. It's Austin Riley. Alrighty, here we go. Matt Chapman, Chipper Jones reprint card, nothing numbered in this one. That's a blue, but it's not going to be numbered. I'll show you the back. So George, unfortunately, has been bumped out. There's that Vladdy. The Gary Matthews auto was numbered. Yeah, we flipped that over and got that one earlier. All right, so we're down to uh, our last spot. It's going to be Edward versus Tim. Adley Ross from Rookie of the Year. I don't, I don't think so. He came up a little too late. He's got eight home runs right now. He's hitting well. I think his average is like hover, hovering in the around 260. He may get some votes. I don't think he's going to get it though. Just not enough, uh, not enough plate appearances to outdo guys like Bobby Witt and J Rod. All right, so Edward, I have to go grab the final box for you. It's in the other room. I think I only brought in two of those sleeves. I got to go grab one more. So I'll be right back with that, and then we'll see if Tim can indeed hang on to take this. All right, 38th number to beat. We'll get back into the Series 2 Jumbos after this. Good luck, Edward. Let's pull this first one out. The rest of these, we'll put them aside for a rainy day. Edward versus Tim, 38 is the number to beat right now. Adam Paisley on the top. Tim hoping to not see. Oh, well, got a, a gold card is going to be the numbered card. That's going to be a 956. Oh, boy. Man, Tim, you did not want to see that. That is a Mother's Day pink, which is numbered out of 50, which has a really good shot of upsetting the 38 out of 50 Eric Swanson. And it does by one. 37 out of 50. Edward has taken it from Tim just like that. Another, man, the Eric Swanson, in case you forgot, was a 38 of 50. It's just back and forth, back and forth. So it's not over for Tim. He has those two other boxes that we call lifeline boxes. I was going to send them to him sealed, but he's going to need me to open at least one more to try to get his lead back here. So let's see if Tim can walk it off now. A really good battle here with this... Uh, Round of hanger boxes going on. Good luck, Tim. Let's see what we've got for you. 37's what you gotta beat. 
Brian Reynolds there on the top. Where's the good stuff start? Here we go. So nothing numbered in this pack. That's not good news. Got the gold stamp, but those gold stamps aren't numbered unless they're on an insert. So it comes down to the very last pack of this round. Good luck, Tim. Edward Grimes may walk off with this one here. All right. So, Tim, do you even have a numbered card? Oh, you do? Look at that. It's a camo for the walk-off. And Adrian Sampson out of 25. Four of 25. You can turn out the lights on this round. Tim walks it off. What a seesaw battle. Sorry about that, Edward. But Adrian Sampson, four of 25, is going to close the book on this back and forth of war. Tim had the lead like three different times, it seemed, and kept losing it. And it came down to the very, very last box, and he did it with the camo. Camos were out of 25, so as soon as I saw that card, I knew it was over. Very, very good round. Congratulations, Tim. Nice win there of all those 2019 update cards, including a big stack of Vladdy rookies and uh, Tatis and Pete Alonso rookies, which will sleeve all of those up for you. And now we'll move on to the next round. Next round is going to bring us back to the Jumbos of 2022. So let's go ahead and put that right there. Next case. And, um, man, what a lazy bum. I forgot to bring in the uh, other two cases. I only brought in one case. So back out to the uh, case room to grab the other case. I'll be right back and grab this one. Time for some Series 2. Once again, we had a Bobby Witt Jr. autograph in the first round of this earlier tonight. Let's see if we can hit the J-Rod right now. First four packs are going to be for Greg. Good luck to you, Greg. There's Tatis box pop. We'll do the silvers at the end of each round. We've got one more case of Jumbos. We've got Diamond Kings and uh, Series 2. So that's what's left tonight. All right, here we go, Greg. Get right to the good stuff. First, we've got, well, that might be, you might run the table here. Eight out of 50 in the very first pack. Tim says, I still can't find my pulse. Man, that's gotta be uh, that's gonna be tough watching live for sure. So, Greg, you're the leader. I don't even need to open these. These are gonna be your lifeline packs. We'll open them if we need them, just like in the instance of uh, Tim. Bob's up next. Five through ten. Congratulations on that very very back and forth battle right there. There's Greg. We'll see if you can hang on. Eight is decent. Um, I think uh, the first case went with a ten. There's a three seventy seven on the IC. Nothing else in this one for Bob. Next up. Roger says, are your Patreon monthly boxes? Yes, those are for United States citizens only because it costs a lot of money to ship internationally. And uh, all those boxes are, all those tiers are priced with U.S. shipping in mind. For example, the $26 tier has... Five dollars of shipping built in to it. I for for typically their hobby packs. Sometimes I'll do a retail pack if I have extra left over, and three other packs, seven packs total. I think it's a decent deal for twenty six bucks. Or if you wanted to pick it up for me, you could do it for twenty bucks. Next pack up for Bob. The autograph there was not numbered.
Next, we have an 869 on the Shohei Otani gold card. Who's more underrated, Austin Riley or Devers? I think I'm going to have to say Austin Riley's more underrated. I mean, he didn't even make the All-Star team until like the last second. Next pack has nothing going on in this one either for Bob. Last pack for Bob. Spencer Strider. Get that one sleeved up. 285 out of 299 on the Anthony Rendon. All right, so Bob, unfortunately, you've been eliminated next up at spot number 11 through 20 matthew's back with an entire box we'll see if he can get it done good luck to you matthew oh look at that bryce harper that is going to be numbered six out of ten man that's crazy a six of ten right there um man that's just a box topper, though. That doesn't count. You know he has the entire box. Technically, it's the packs that count. I'd love to say you just got the whole case because that box topper, but we've never counted box toppers as numbered, unfortunately. All right, Matthew, here we go. Spot number 11. Nothing there in that first pack. Pack number two, Michael Chavis on the top. Brandon Woodruff, and we've got the autographs gonna be Ernie Clement, it's not numbered. Nothing else there. RF says, imagine trying to collect a box popper set. Yeah, a lot of times they come out of the box not in uh, great shape either. The corners are usually dinged up from just sitting on top of the box. Eddie Murray's short print, not numbered. Willie McCovey, also not numbered. Nothing else there. Next pack up. Corey Dickerson leads us off. There's Walker Buehler gold foil card. That is a dud pack right there. No numbered cards in it. Saw Trent Grisham, who's slowly getting his average up to the Mendoza line, hitting 198 last time I checked. See if he can get it up and over. It's going to be a battle to see who's got the worst average in the big leagues this year. Grisham or uh, Max Muncy, the leading candidates. All right, next pack up. Got Brett Phillips, numbered card here. It's going to be the big unit, Randy Johnson. It's a 113 on the no-hit club card. out of 299 on the Chris Bassett having a great season with the Mets. Brandon Crawford relic is not numbered. We go on to the next pack. It's so hot in my house by the way. I turned all my air conditioning off when I went away for uh, how long were we gone? Like five days and came back to like 90 degrees in here. It's taking forever to get caught up. Clemente, I don't think it's numbered. We'll flip it over and show you. It's not. That'll do it for that one. Just two packs left after this one. Got a numbered card here. It's going to be a gold card, though, of Castellanos, 1645. And the Robin Yount die cut card, not numbered either. 
Are there any Dairy Queens in New York City? Um, I don't think we saw any. I remember we stopped and got ice cream. Heather wanted to get the boys ice cream. She got she got me a, an ice cream cone too. Three ice cream cones, thirty dollars from an ice cream truck. It was crazy. Very very expensive. We also got like three hot dogs. It was like thirty dollars. I was like, how much do these guys make a year <laughs> from these trucks? This these prices are insane. It's like I can go to Sheets and get three hot dogs for a dollar fifty. But yeah, we didn't see any Dairy Queens there, but Dairy Queen is, uh, now that you said that, it makes you want to go and get some Dairy Queen. All right, next, Matthew, is your final pack. Yeah, Heather, wasn't that 30 bucks for, maybe it was like 32, I don't even know. It was a lot of money for three ice cream cones. Like just a cone with uh, like soft serve in it. There's the short print, Spencer Torkelson. Very nice, one of the big three. Torkelson is short print. Congratulations on this one, Greg. It's going in your stack. I think last time I looked, that was like a $100 card. Unfortunately for Matthew, he's been eliminated. On to the next box. Michael's coming up next. It's spot number 22. Heather says it was $30. Three ice cream cones. Robert says, are there any spots in case three left over? Of Series 2 for 2022, there is, uh, right now, there's exactly 20 spots left. Actually, 22 spots left. Next spot, Michael Mishkin will be first. White Sox Tom says there's a small card show in New York City. It costs 20 bucks just to get in, I believe it. Everything's so overpriced. This pack, unfortunately, has nothing. Those cones better have gold flakes in them for that price, says RF. Uh, I think they had some sprinkles, but they definitely weren't golden sprinkles. Kevin's up next with two. That's crazy. 20 bucks to get into a card show with only 50 tables. Got a vintage stock card here. It's a 99 of 99, though. It kind of sucks. In the wrong direction on that one. The Knicks wants a cheesecake, says Heather. Now I want a cheesecake as well. We've got a Caravin Castro, 1069. Luis Heel, not numbered. Numbers are right there usually. And that'll do it for this one. For Kev. Next up is spot number 24. It's Dylan. Dylan A. Nothing there. All right. Last one for Dylan. Got Zach Gallon on the top. Dugout, congratulations. 191 on this one. Not going to beat that eight. That eight's going to be very, very tough to knock off. I see Bob just grabbed three packs. Thanks, Bob. Could you put in here in a minute? 26 is for Brett. I see Heather's response. No, I didn't I saw them said she said the mix wants a cheesecake I think I read that one and then I said I want a cheesecake oh cookie dough this time that sounds really good I'm all about that how those cheesecakes uh, are better than the cheesecake factory to tell you the truth folks Nothing there for Brett. Spot number 27 for Carrie. Who will be the rookies to look out for? It'll be the big three. Will likely be an update. Oh, there's Emmanuel Rivera. That's the autograph we had in the box war against my brother. It's not numbered. Fortunately, it's only like a dollar autograph. So 
unfortunately, Carrie, no numbered cards there. Brennan up next, spots 28 and 29. If everything Heather makes is homemade. Heather wanted Dairy Queen on the way home, but Robbie had, had three cupcakes. Why don't we go tomorrow and get Dairy Queen, Heather, with uh, all the kids? That'd be pretty fun. 206 on that one. Maybe we can go for like a, a hike or a walk or something and get Dairy Queen after. Nothing in this one for Brennan. All right, so Edward, you're up next at spot number 30. Dusty Cheddar said I missed a $4,000 card. The Wander Franco super short print. Why wouldn't it have been flipped over? Uh, I don't think so. Nothing there. Kenley Jansen, 169. Kenley Jansen on that one. See the how the Torkelson was flipped over for that short print? Short prints are always flipped over. We would have seen it. We got Dusty and Jason both saying it was the Wander Franco super, super, super short print card of Wander SSP. You want me to run it all back? Let me know, because uh, if the moderators determine that I should go back, we will go back if I missed it. Jason Johnson is uh, saying it's there. Wow, all right, so we'll start running it back one by one. So I'm looking for Wander Franco, super short print. I'll just go back and redo all the cards. This is, I spent a half hour and the last time someone said you missed something looking for it. Well, Jimmy says, I went back and didn't see anything. So I don't know if it's two friends just trolling us or not. I really hope that uh, this isn't a troll job. Otherwise, I will be very offended that you made me go back and look. So far, nothing. Nothing yet. Yeah, short prints are always flipped upside down, so I don't know why it would uh, not have been in the... Joe says, uh, nah, nothing I looked to. Thought I saw it. It's not. All right, so... Looks like... Uh... It's not there then? These are all the cards recently gone through. No Wander Franco there. So if you're just tuning in, somebody said they thought they saw a Wander Franco super, super short print and somebody else backed them up. And uh, still nothing. Not seeing it. If you could give us a timestamp, that would be great. I personally am doubtful, unless I hear it from a moderator. It's 
Still nothing. We already went through these ones. Getting down to the bottom of the box here of the recent cards that I've put in. Robinson. I feel like I'm in a rain delay right now looking for this card, this supposed card. Mick says, I went back and watched five minutes and didn't see anything. Yeah, so I've just gone through every card from the last long stretch here and uh, I'm not seeing it either so I think we may have gotten punked because uh, short prints will be flipped upside down every single short print that we've found in series two is always flipped upside down right back in the middle just as I'm telling you it's a waste of time yep that's uh, I just went through all those cards for nothing uh, Timmy says more trolls, so let's go ahead and block those folks. You know, Wander SSP, I've, I'm going to check because I don't want people to say that I've missed that card and whatever. So for Gregory's sake, I want to go back and double check just to make sure it's in there. All right, so now back to the regularly scheduled break next box up michael bought 31 32 and 33 we've got pete alonso on the top thanks mix oh big says i was really hoping it was there and if you didn't see it you know it's not not going to be there. Yeah, it would have been flipped upside down like every other short print. You just get right to the middle of it. And look, there's card flipped upside down because it's numbered. It's a 1509. Lead card right now is an 8 to get us back on track. All those base cards at the front and back. Next up. I got a dugout congratulations card. Carlton Fisk autograph. What a nice Hall of Fame hit this is. Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk. Unfortunately, it's not numbered. Really nice one. Nothing else here. And next one for Michael, his last pack. Got Yusei Kikuchi, 2022, out of 2022. 16, 10 is the number that counts. And nothing else there. Rf says, I thought it was a funny joke. I don't. Just wasted like 10 minutes of our time. And uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm very, very busy I'm trying to... Probably going to step to like 3.30 a.m. tonight. I'm working on stuff and... I got a home field advantage card of Joey Votto, not numbered. Nothing else in this one for David. Let's do your pack number 35. There's Ronald Torres, Kenley Jansen. There's a short print flipped upside down, not numbered. Moving on to the next one, pack number 36 for Seth.
There's a Fernando Tatis Collier shot. That card's worthless now. I see he's not going to be playing anymore this year. Mix says, so I took a rare nap this afternoon, so I have energy to last for the whole Saturday showdown. Very nice. Yeah, I told Heather I'd probably be going to like 12.30 tonight. Might be a little bit longer. We shall see. Nothing numbered in this one. For Seth, number 36. 30, uh, I missed it. That was actually 37, Brandon Simmons, so I forgot to flip the name there. Here's 38, 39, and 40. We have for Chris, and then I'll get you one more. Did you ever hear back from Jared on that great-looking Ozzie Smith card? I can't remember. I can't remember what that one ended up getting in that 1979 Topps box. Those, uh, those old breaks were pretty fun, though. Thinking about grabbing another box at some point. I did have Skyline Chili back when I was in Cincinnati. It's, I think it's kind of gross. It's like uh, spaghetti with Chili. There's Benintendi 1408. Also, we have a Yachty 154 on that one. That's all the numbered cards here. All right, Chris, here's fun 39. Got a gold foil. Andre Dawson won't be numbered. Johnny's cash would rather have a chili dog. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd want either. I don't like chili when it's by itself in its own container. All right, so here's the last pack of this box. We've got Chris Owens, it's gonna be 136. <laughs> Dave, yep, they, uh, well, they're banned now. I should have just stuck to my guns and been like, hey, if I didn't see it, it's probably not there. I wasn't going to then. I think like two or three of them that were in on it said it and made me doubt myself for a second. But yeah, if it was flipped upside down, I would have been going crazy and I would have found it. And uh, it would have been right with all the, in the inserts. And that's really where all the focus is on this box is in the middle of the packs where the inserts and numbered cards are. Let's get one more pack for you. Yeah, it wouldn't be numbered anyway, but still, if it was a uh, super, super short print worth a ton of money, we would have definitely wanted to get that in a one touch. Here's a six dough, seven ninety five. dollars Nothing else in this pack for Chris. So Chris has been bumped out. Eric's up next. Eric took home the first case. So let's see if we can do it again. Go, trying to go back to back. Eric G, you got to be the, an eight. That pack didn't want to open up. Andrew Jones, potential future Hall of Famer. Nice on card auto there. Just really kind of played himself out of the Hall of Fame by having such a terrible. 30s literally played himself out of the Hall of Fame. He had like a top five war for his 20s, and then I think he had like a the rest of his career had like a com, like compiled like a one or maybe even a negative. He was just terrible. Justin Upton 111 or 1111 on the gold card. Curry Puckett not numbered either. So, Eric, thank you very much. But you have been eliminated this time. Eric Goldman is up next at 44. Number to beat is 8 right now, Cody. And it's been there since the very first pack we've opened. It's maybe a run-the-table case. Nothing in that one. 45 and 46 for Josh Hafer. J.D. Davis, we've got a Vladimir Gutierrez, 84, 84 out of 300. Nothing else in that one. All right, so Josh, here's 46.
nothing numbered there. So on to 47. Jessica Linbo has these three packs, 47, 48, and 49. Got Michael Kopech there. Having a decent bounce back here after basically missing the last two seasons. Anyone know what an advanced stat set goes for? They're all out of 300, so I would imagine a pretty good amount. What would you say your favorite all-time set to open up is? I really like triple threads. It's always been a personal favorite. Here's 48. Got a Nolan R. Auto. That's going to be out of 299. It's a 272 on the gray border. Anthony Rizzo, not numbered. So that'll do it for this pack. Here's pack number 49 for you, Jessica. Sweet Hayes says, are there any spots available? Yes, we have spots in... We got two more spots in Series 2 from 2021, and we've got like 19 in the uh, next round of Series 2 for this product. This will be numbered Aaron Judge Gold Manufactured. It is going to be a 55, though, out of 75. Not quite good enough to beat that 8. So, Jessica, thank you very much, but you've been eliminated. Next up, it's spot 50, 51, and 52. It's for James Grilly. Let's see what we can find for James. Pretty good number here. 12 out of 71 on the Verdugo Black. Nothing else going on, though, in the rest of this pack. So let's get our final box from this case going. For James. Greg still hanging on. So I got to make a couple cards here because people were grabbing some spots. Let's see here. Let me log back into my PayPal. I think James is the last one I have. And then after him, I got to make a couple spots for the rest of this round. So I see Edward Grimes grabbed a spot in the Diamond Kings break. I'll get you added in there at spot number 21. And Bob grabbed three packs in Series 2. So Bob will have 29 and 30. And uh, 41, it'll be split up a little bit. Your three packs. In the meantime, it's spot number 53 here. This one's gonna go to Tyler. In this particular box coming up at spot number 54 through 56, we got Ben versus Golf with three spots. Spot 57, we have home visions and at 58 to 60 we got Jackson Blake with three so let's go ahead and finish off this box and see who's taking this case Bregman right there. We'll go through all these silver packs in a minute. All right, James, here we go. 51 and 52. We got a Colton Welker. Look at this. Holy cow. Tyler has just pulled a 1 of 25. It is a Colton Welker camo. And check that, not Tyler, James at spot 51. James Grilly with a 1 out of 25. And now this one is pretty much over. That's that's almost unbeatable. James, you have one more pack. It's what we call your lifeline pack. That 8 is now gone. 
Greg, we'll open those three packs just in case you have a one of one in there, but that is going to be really, really tough to beat. So Greg was the leader. He had an eight. I thought that he was going to uh, potentially run the table there. That eight is a really decent number. Most times that would be enough, but now here we are having to open up his extra packs that he had. Nothing numbered in that first one. One of one would beat a one of 25, a one of 10 would beat that as well. We've got a one uh, 1504 on the gold card right there. Frank Thomas is gonna be a relic that's not numbered. Man, James, congratulations on that. Here's Greg's final pack. It's Cole Calhoun on the top. Ryan Sandberg, nothing numbered here. So, as expected there, James, you are hanging on. Greg, you're out. Sorry about that. Only a couple of folks to go through here, James. Should be a breeze, I would imagine, with the one is the lead card right now. Here's Tyler at spot number 53. All right, so there's Matt Brash. It's going to be 198 out of 299. Shane Boss is going to be a relic that's not numbered. O'Neill Cruz in there as well. Nothing else there in that one. 54, Ben versus Golf has three packs, 54, 55, and 56. Ranger Suarez leads things off there in that pack. In terms of where the good stuff is, nothing numbered there. Here's your next pack up. Got a Cleveland Indians. Even if that was a one out of 99, I wouldn't have got the job done. It's an 82 on the vintage stock card. Nothing else going on here. Here's Ben's final pack. Unfortunately, nothing numbered there either. So, Ben, thank you very much, but that one is an absolute juggernaut home visions also going up against that goliath got spencer strider rookie auto very nice one right there it's not numbered though potential rookie of the year so home visions thank you very much cindy says are there any spots in case three left yeah there's uh 18 spots it looks like jackson's got the last three so you can find it for jackson let's see what we've got here jacob de is upside down it's not numbered though it's just one of those blue border cards that likes to fake everybody out next pack up Court says you should make MLB the show videos. I actually used to make those, but um, I just I'm not that good at the game. Plus, I don't have a ton of time to do them. Fortunately, nothing numbered here. Down to the last pack, and then it's uh, silver pack time. Got Francisco Lindor right there, and uh, fourteen forty-five on the Nico Horner Gold card. That will clinch it for James. So James, congratulations. As expected, one out of 25 will win most times. So you've got that case. And now let's go ahead and see what's in these silver packs. See if there's anything good. Let me just get your cards cleaned up here. Go ahead and rip these open now. It's all thanks to Colton Welker. these box toppers put in there as well all right so in the first case we had a nick castellanos in here you're welcome jr dave says does anybody in here have a baseball tattoo 
Not me. I uh, I don't have any tattoos. I got zero. But I bet you, I would say about, I'm going to guess, 5% of the people watch right now have baseball tattoos. That's my guess. Baseball-related tattoos. Maybe uh, team logos. Maybe like a player's number or something. Robert says, I have a baseball wedding ring. Yitzi says, how do your brakes work? Well, tonight it's the Saturday showdown. So this one, the lowest number takes all the cards. Personal brakes are usually on uh, new release dates, but there hasn't been anything new that's come out in like weeks, it seems like. I think the next one hopefully will be next week with um, maybe some clearly authentic. There's an Altuve. There's a Jordan Alvarez out of 75. Jared Koenig's one to watch with his super low batting average. We'll see how long he lasts. Since the Mariners in the midst of a pennant race, they can't really afford to carry like a 130-something hitter. It's Castellanos, and he's also out of options now, which also makes it super interesting. I guess they could probably just try to keep him around until the rosters expand in September. There's Joe Ryan. Then just hope that uh, it's out of 75. Hope he turns thing around, things around eventually. Such a top-rated prospect for all those years. Jared Kelnick with the Mets and the Mariners minor league system. This does not put it together at the big league level. All right, James, thank you very much. Next, we're going to go ahead. We've got three rounds left. I think I'm going to do, since it's such a short round, uh, Kevin, we were trolled on that one. Yeah, I went back and moderators went back to you. I hope we didn't see it. I went back through, uh, I don't know, I spent like 10 minutes and went through all the cards that I'd opened over the last like 10 minutes. All right, here we go. We're doing series two now. I've got about two of these boxes sold right now, so let's rip these open. We'll do these, then we'll go into Diamond Kings, then we'll go back to series two and wrap things up with series two. There's a Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. All right, Brandon. We will start things off with you. Something's upside down already, right in the middle. Let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be a you, Darvish. And Darvish is trolling us because it is just a... Uh, one of those purple unnumbered parallels. And they're pulling us even more with some base flipped upside down, unless I did that. All right, Brandon, next one up. Nothing numbered yet. All the numbered stuff will be right in the middle. Starting right around here. Nothing numbered here and looks like the Machine went haywire at the factory with putting these base paper cards in there. Brandon has been eliminated and forces up next with two. I have a super high number take this partial case of series two. Since there's only gonna be a couple numbered cards, nothing numbered in this one. Shane McLean and rookie card there. The back base paper. Next pack, Garrett Crochet Gold Foil, which is not numbered. Man, we are hitless so far. Yeah, there's still some Diamond King spots available. We'll do that one next. Matthew's up next with five. He's got this entire case, except for this entire box, except for one, at least what's left of it. All right, Matthew, let's see if. Uh, Series 2 from last year is calling your name here. It's going to start off with a 276. So there we go. Key Brian Hayes. Rookie Relic in there as well. Not numbered. But Matthew's in the lead, and he's got five packs. You don't need to open them for you, Matthew, unless you get bumped off. So those are your lifeline packs. This is a, uh, this is a pretty short round. So you may end up taking it. Hey, Kurt says, uh, Pujols has 692. You think he's getting 700? Um, we talked about this a little bit earlier. I think I'm 50-50. I'll say it's 50-50 he gets there. He plays every day. 
He's got a probably good shot. I think I think some pitchers will probably give him some meatballs just out of respect. I think a lot of people want to see him get there, and uh, Jamie just like that gets there with a 67, one pack, and uh, upsets Matthew. So that didn't last very long. Now Matthew, you will need us to open these four packs. So we'll go ahead and play some musical chairs there. So Jamie. 67 is the lead card. Congratulations, Matthew. You're back in the saddle again. Let's see what we've got here. Something's upside down. This is going to be a Marcus Stroman. It's going to be uh, a short print Marcus Stroman. And we've got Alec Bohm, not numbered. Casey Mize, fake autograph in there as well. And that will be it for that pack. Right, Ryan says, how do you enter it into the videos? If you'd like to participate in the videos, you have to be a Patreon member, which you gotta sign up for. There's a link in the description and also the top of the live chat. Next up, nothing numbered here. Just a bunch of base paper cards which are flipped for some reason from these packs. Matthew's next pack up. Tyler O'Neill, gold card alert. It's going to be Cole Hamels, who's trying to make a comeback last time I checked, or last time I heard about him. 1291. I think he may have had a tryout with somebody. He hasn't really pitched. I think he pitched like one game in the past three years, it seems like. All right, Matthew, here's your last pack. Got another gold card. It's going to be Chris Sale. It's going to be a 421. And the autograph, Nick Niedert, not numbered. And that will do it for the first box. These are just base cards which were flipped over again because the machine went haywire there. So Matthew's out. Moving on to the second and final box of Series 2 from 2021. Yep, we don't have a whole bunch of 2021 to do. Just a little mini round here. Box that here is James Wiseman's going to start this one off. See, Brian just signed up on Patreon. Thanks, Brian. I appreciate that. We'll open up the silver packs here in a minute. Some box tosses. The mix is nothing worse than tops trolling us. Yeah, we did that. Uh, Earlier this week with the Mike Trout flipped upside down card. What was that? Oh, that was last week with the International Trading Card Day packs. Literally the only card flipped upside down was a Mike Trout. I thought it was an autograph. It was not an autograph. All right, so James up now has a gold card. It's going to be Yasmani Grandal. It'll be numbered 1486. Clemente is going to be a short print. Leave that one up. Nothing else going on in here for James. Next up, Sylvia Stout with three. And then I got to make a couple cards here because Sylvia bought in. And then uh, Justin Collins bought in as well. So I got to make him a card. Justin Collins with three packs. So it looks like it's just Sylvia and Justin. Then that's the end of this box. I'll go and double check and make sure that nobody else sent ever payment. And then we'll get into uh, Diamond Kings right after this. And then we'll wrap things up with Series 2 once again. Here's three packs for Sylvia. Oh, looks like there was a couple payments that came through. Let me go and sort these out. Nothing's numbered here. Aloy or... Luis Robert. Aloy Jimenez is sitting in the 300s. He's been doing really well since he's been back. Very impressive. For me, though, I have uh, I still like Luis Robert a little bit better, but Jimenez is, uh, he's, I think he's the real deal. I see James uh, Beckemeyer grab two packs in case three. Um, that's going to be, what was that even for? James Beckemeyer, two times case three. A little short on the payment there. Um, so James, if you'd like to take care of that, but I'll put you in case three and you'll just have to send over the difference. 42 and 43. Nathan Bennett grabbed one spot of Diamond Kings. We'll add you to that right now. 
spot number 22. And Chris grabbed four spots in series two, case three. Chris and Cindy Morales. 44, 45, 46, and 47. I think everyone's all up to date now. So we can go ahead and get back to this. Sylvia, you're up. No back. Mickey Moniac's not numbered. I think Sylvia ended up taking home a case of 2021 update, if I'm not mistaken. Kentucky Pride, all the uh, all the prices are on the Patreon page. Just go by the live stream price now since we're already live. There's a gold card. It's a 1642. And nothing else here. So Sylvia, thank you very much. Down to our last spot, it's gonna be Justin Collins, 16, 17, and 18. Actually, um, now that I think about it here, I missed one for Sylvia. Should have had three packs for some reason. This is 16, 17, 18 for Justin. So this is still yours, Sylvia. Let's see what we've got in this one. And uh, wow. Luis Garcia, 9 out of 299, is going to upset this whole case. Jamie has been bumped out, and Sylvia takes over. So, Sylvia, congratulations. Actually, check that. Wait, no, check it. Sylvia doesn't. Sylvia doesn't. Justin Collins has it. Let's take a look and play this back. I got all confused there. I was like, wait a minute, 16 to 18. Here's what we have, just so you see. I made a mistake. Justin Collins has 15, 16, 17, 18. So you walked it off there, Justin. I just wrote the wrong number down there. Sylvia had 12, 13, and 14 for three packs. And Sylvia, sorry for giving you a heart attack there. I did do three packs for you. You can go back and double check it. But Justin has it. Spot 15, you walked it off, man. Congratulations. I'll send you these other two packs sealed. Actually, other three packs sealed. I wrote the wrong number down there because I can't count. These other two packs left over, I'll put in my little stack there. And Justin walks it off there. Congratulations, man. Try to check out what's in the silver packs. The rest of that pack, by the way, had Alec Bohm in it. In case you were wondering, we'll toss that into your hit stack as well. All thanks to Luis Garcia. All right, so the silver packs. We're doing Diamond Kings next. Now, Diamond Kings don't really have any numbered cards in it at all. It's, I mean, there's some, but they're very, very rare. Got a Willie Mays. That's a gold out of 50. And we have an orange out of 75. Actually, 25. Alec Bohm. Not a bad one right there. A couple nice numbered cards. Congratulations, Justin. Now it's time for Diamond Kings. I'll grab my Diamond Kings cards. Here they are. Let me get my case. All right, the way Diamond Kings is set up is each spot is for four packs. So each spot for four. Justin Gomes says, Among Us is sus. <laughs> Thank you very much, Justin. I, I don't really know what you mean by the cryptic comment, but I think it's about that video game from uh, Among Us, which was real popular like a year or two ago. My kids always want to... Uh, I always want to play that game in real life as well. All right, Mitchell, here we go. Next spot up. James B. wants to know how much he owes. Oh, I can check that out, Heather. Let me see. So um, you sh you were short um, 28 minus. You are short 10 bucks, I think, because I think you paid 23 each, and the live price was 28 All right, so here we go. Robert says, I just sent everyone for Diamond Kings. I'll get you added in here right now before I start ripping these open. You will be at spot number, I see it. You're going to be at spot number 23. 
I see that we also had Luigi grab a spot. Luigi, you're going to be at spot number 24. And Edward grabbed two spots in Series 2. Edward Grimes will get you added in at 48 and 49 in our final case of the evening. Coming up in just a second. Bob says, please confirm I have three spots for Series 2. Yep, you got it. 29, 30, and 41. I just split them up a little bit for you, but they're all in there. All right, so... Looks like we're all up to date. Let's go ahead and rip these open. So, Mitchell, you have eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good luck to you. Let's see what we can find. Just open them all uh, in a super rip style fashion. Might only find one numbered card per box. Maybe not even. So we're looking for artist proofs. And I'm basically looking for the Diamond King logos. If they are a different color, they like if they have like a foil color, they'll be numbered. All right, Mitchell, here we go. So if you see any foil here, that's would indicate typically a numbered card. Here we go. Right off the bat, artist proof numbered card 66 out of 99. O'Neill Cruz. That's not numbered. It's usually like a teal in those colors. Uh that Diamond King logo. We'll go through these, and the numbers are on the fronts of these cards. There's Manny Machado, not numbered. Just so used to looking at the backs for Tops cards. Babe Ruth, not numbered. Maestros. Upside down card indicating a hit. It's going to be Ryan Jeffers. And it's a nice one, but it's not numbered. Just an Artistic Endeavors card. It's going to be one autograph and one relic per box of Diamond Kings. All right, so Mitchell, you're in the lead right now. Congratulations. Next up, Luigi at spot number three. You get four packs as well. Let's rip them open and see what we can find for you. Who knows? 66 might end up being good enough to take this case. Just because there's not going to be very many numbered cards. I've got a Wander Franco hit coming up. It's going to be a dual relic card. James, thanks. Got the uh, got the difference. Thank you very much, man. Nothing else. The rest of this one. So as expected, one numbered card in the first box luigi is out john's up next spot number four so there's four packs for you This one feels kind of thick. All right, Timmy, thanks for your help tonight. And I'll see you tomorrow. Auto Lopez is going to be the hit. It's an auto auto, and it's going to be good enough to upset the top card there. 57 out of 99, John Lurch takes over. Congratulations, John. 57 will put you in the top spot. See how long that holds. Tatis gray frame right there. Nothing else going on. So Michael's up next with four. Here's your four. I've already found the numbered card in the box. There's a Walker Bueller dual relic. These are ones you got to go through every single card because the artist proofs are hiding within, like this one. 70 out of 99. Won't beat the 57 though. So, Michael, fortunately, you're out. Tear us up next. Tara has eight total packs. We'll do four now, and then we'll do four in the next box. Good luck, Tara. All 
All right, let's see what we can do here. Chris Bryant, gray frame. Max Scherzer, plum frame. Not numbered. And unfortunately, nothing going on there. James says, think we'll see another Jabs versus Jabs box war. Should raise the stakes a little bit. Not monetarily. What would you say should be the stakes? But in other ways, what do you mean? What did you have in mind? Let me know. I'm interested. <laughs> Mick says, if the Super Rip's not copyrighted, you should copyright it. That would be funny. No one else on YouTube is allowed to do a Super Rip. Or at least call it that. Let's do Tara's next four packs. Bryce says, how do box wars work? Lowest number card takes the case. Dinner and drinks on the loser at Applebee's. Maybe. Maybe we could uh, like bring in a card from our collection or something. Put that up. For uh, put that on the line or something. Like a nice rookie card or something. Not, not nothing crazy, but maybe like a fifty dollar card or something like that. All right, Tara, next stack here. Got the gray Greg Diekman. Those aren't numbered. Cedric Mullins, Plum. Glenn Otto again. I guess, wait, that's an Otto Lopez. Two autos, different people, not numbered. Heather says, I'm going to sleep. All right, Heather, I love you too. I hope you sleep well and... I hope we get to uh, have some Dairy Queen ice cream tomorrow. That sounds really good to me. I'm super hungry right now. There's like no food in my house. Just got back from, uh, I mean, there's some food, but it's not really anything I would want to eat. It's like healthy stuff like bananas and stuff. All right, Dan, let's rip the last eight packs here. They're all for Dan. Two squats, two times four, eight packs. You don't talk a bell. Yeah, my brother doesn't eat meat, so let's get to the cheesy roll-up stuff. Grinder says, just bought a Wander Franco numbered auto. Hope he comes back strong. Hey, it's the time to buy right now. He's going to be coming back from his uh injury soon so might as well right you just gotta hope the rays make the playoffs if the rays don't make the playoffs wander will be forgotten about by a lot of people and right now the rays are barely clinging to a spot if you're hoping he bounces back he's gonna have to come back make the playoffs and pull a randy rose arena a la two years ago when randy was going crazy and making a name for himself there's a nice one vladdy Jersey Kings card. Very nice card. Not numbered, though. Nothing else in there for Dan. Next up, spot number 10. It's going to be for Jamie once again. The mix says you mod your drumstick with uh, chocolate ice cream. That sounds really good. John says, been loving the videos. Thanks for watching. And you went to check out the Hot Corner. Awesome. Yeah, the guys at the Hot Corner saw my video and uh, left me a comment in there and said, thanks for stopping by. Really nice guys in there for sure. And uh, nice uh, nice stuff in there. I like that store. I'll tell you what, if I bring you a video from a store, it means I liked it. Because I, I go to more stores and decide not to film and go to stores and film that. Like, if it's a crappy store, I'm like, hey, do you mind? Like, why would I say, hey, do you mind if I take out my phone and do a video of your store and highlight your $40 blaster boxes? And stuff like that. A lot of times, I, you can just kind of tell, you just go and look at some box prices. And if they're like 20% above eBay, it's like, eh. This isn't going to be good. All 
Unfortunately, nothing number there for Jamie. So next up, Kevin Newman with four. I think one of these may have a relic, seems. Got a thick pack there. Look about how tricky these packs are to open. Some getting a workout here. Mickey Mantle base card. Got Brent Rooker. This is going to be our, a numbered Brent Rooker 90 out of 99. And we also have Jake McCarthy. This will be the relic. It's a dual relic, no number on it. For Kevin. So Kevin is out. Next up, Matthew. 12 and 13. Here's four, and then we'll owe you four more packs in the next box. Juniata's pretty good. They are uh, they're good for boxes, though. Like, that's their specialty boxes. Like, recent releases. You go there, they'll get you a, a recent release for well under eBay prices, but they don't really have much in the way of singles. Here's a number card. It's going to be Jaron Duran. And this is going to be our new leader. 29 out of 49. Knocks off the 57. So, Matthew, congratulations on that. You're the new leader right now. And you still have four more packs, which you may not even need me to open. So, I'll take those and put them aside for you. From the next box. Nick says, Guaranteed Dairy Queen will be a sponsor of Jab Sunny. That would be nice. I'm a huge fan of Dairy Queen. Francis used to go to Dairy Queen Myrtle Beach. I was just uh, I was just down there. I literally got back from Myrtle Beach today. Maybe like an hour and a half before going live. Drove all day. It took us like 12 hours because I stopped a couple times. So Matthew, I'll put these aside for you. We'll put your name up there. And uh, James is up. With four spots. So here we go, James. James ended up taking a case. We'll see if he can do it again. Does getting a player to sign a rookie card decrease its value? Um, if it's a good rookie, I wouldn't want them to sign it. Personally, I would rather have them uh, sign a baseball or something like that. Bo Bichette. It's going to be, wow, 15 out of 99. So just like that, James bumps off Matthew. How about that, James? Congratulations. 15 of 99 on the Beau Bichette. That's going to be a little bit tougher to beat now. And this is numbered as well, 34 out of 99 on the Jacob de Grom. Those blue foil cards have numbers on them. Well, you're not completely done yet, Matthew. You've had those four packs, those lifeline packs at the top of the screen that we're going to keep for you sealed, but we're going to have to open them now. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let's see what we can do with these four. Fifteen Bobachet. There's Hans Kraus. That one is not numbered. Dual relic autograph. And unfortunately, Matthew, you've been bumped out. So worldwide fancy pants coming up next. At spot number fifteen. Is there a playlist of card shop videos? I think there is. Baseball card shops. I'm pretty sure that I have a playlist of baseball card shops. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I should. If I, I if I don't, that's something I need to get on. I definitely have um, like Walmart, Target, Throwback Thursdays, stuff like that. Nothing numbered here for Worldwide. So moving on now to spot number 16. It's for Seth. Five boxes down. 
Time to start on box number six. These four packs for you. Here they are. Actually, you have eight, so let's grab four more. Eight total packs for Seth. That pack kind of really hurt the old thumb there, ripping that open. I haven't opened Diamond Kings in a while. I think we had one in the showdown maybe like two months ago. Before that, last time I opened them was maybe on release day, back in like May, whenever this came out. All right, here we go. Set this, put some of this base away. Get some of these wrappers thrown away as well. O'Neill Cruz, it is numbered 22 out of 99. Uh, that's the way you combine the uh, breaks by joining Patreon. There's a link in the description there. 45 out of 99. For this one, all the information is Underneath the post section, tells you if you'd like to buy in exactly what to do. Gives you some payment instructions. There's Spencer Strider. Not numbered. Oh, I meant, uh, yeah, I did open Diamond Kings on Thursday, but I meant this exact product, 2022 Diamond Kings. You're right. All right, Seth, unfortunately, you are out. Next up. 18 for Chris. Four packs. Tomorrow auctions Bo stuff. I don't have Bo. I've got Rob Grice's stuff. I've got Nick D's stuff. I've got Carlos Z's stuff. I think I've got those three. Unless Bo sent me something at the post office. I haven't been to the post office in uh, over a week. Well, tomorrow will be over a week. I think I was last there on like last Saturday or something like that. I mean, technically, I ship stuff on Monday. On the way down to uh, Myrtle Beach, I had to stop at a post office somewhere in, like, West Virginia because they, I had, like, all these packages to ship. Nothing numbered there, and post offices around here don't open until, like, 9, so we left super early. All right, Eric's up next. 19 and 20, eight packs for you. Let me go and check because I just I think I saw another payment come in. And try to type all fast and then screwed up, made a mistake. Uh, Mitchell Phillips with two Diamond King spots. We'll get you out in there. Mitchell Phillips at 25 and 26. All right, Eric, let's see what we can find here for you. Also, I just realized I'm going to have to fill out a couple cards here. We're going to spot 26, so I just need to do a couple of these real quick. Spot number 21 is for Edward Grimes. Spot number 22 is for Nathan. Nathan Bennett. Spot number 23 is for Bob. Spot number 24 was for Luigi. And 25 and 26 with eight packs was Mitchell Phillips, who just paid. All right, Eric, let's do eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should leave me four, yep. For winding down Diamond Kings, we only have a couple more spots left to go. So you six more after this, and then we'll get into our final case, which will be the last case of Series 2 Jumbos of this evening. Pools will be, Pools should be first ballot. I, you know what, he 
should probably be unanimous as well, but I don't think he's going to be unanimous because some people might think that uh, he's lied about his age and stuff like that. And some people may think if he's lied about his age, is he lied about anything else? Never failed a drug test that I know of. So, I, I mean, I think he should be unanimous, but we'll see. Here's a nice... Alec Bohm, Art Nouveau, not numbered card. Josh Lowe Autograph, also not numbered. Numbered card here, it's going to be Boba Chet 94 out of 99 for Eric. And that'll be it for him. Next up at spot number 21 is for Edward Grimes with the next four packs. Yeah, I sure hope that Pujols gets 700. I'm rooting for him. I think a lot of people around baseball will be rooting for him as well. I'll tell you what, if you haven't, uh, here's a big tip. I'm not going to do this. I just don't have the time to get involved with this kind of stuff. I used to do this kind of stuff back in the day before I was uh, so busy. Um, if I were you, I would go and I would buy like four tickets to every Cardinals game for 10 tickets to every Cardinals game for the last week of the season. If he's sitting on 699, I'll tell you what, whatever game he's going for 700, that's going to be a sellout. And uh, those tickets are probably going to be worth like five times what you paid for them. So I would go and then I'd probably sell the other ones. There's Andre Jackson. Wee Reese. Those are big tickets. Those are milestone games where people are chasing after a milestone. I remember when the Cleveland Indians were on a huge winning streak. Like the cheapest ticket was like, I think they had like 20, 21 wins or something like that. Everyone wanted to see them keep winning. And the cheapest ticket in the, the ballpark was like 100, 100 some bucks for like a ticket that cost like 14 previously to buy. Next box up, Nathan coming up. Spot number 22. Four tickets, or four packs for you. I'm thinking about tickets right now. Fred says, I've only used tickets from the game. Henderson got his 3,000th hit. Those are valuable. Right, for Nathan, let's see what we can find here. We've got a Hans Kraus. So many Hans Kraus autos and relics and Panini. They really like him. Unfortunately, no numbered cards there. So next up at spot number 23. With four packs, this is going to be for Bob. The Hans face is hilarious. Yeah, that's a pretty ugly face. Or expression, I should say. No offense, Hans. Frank Thomas. Bat King's card. Game used bat. Not numbered. There are some pitchers that had some really ugly facial expressions on their cards. I think Kevin Apier is the worst. Just had awful, awful expressions. This one's a 52 out of 99 on the artist proof. Key Brian Hayes. Nothing else here. So the 15 survives. Bomb, unfortunately, you're out. Luigi's up next with four. Ed Lurch, the 87 Pops. Infamous Ed Lurch burp card. Where he's literally burping while his picture's being taken. And they use that image. It's a great picture. Hey, thanks, CNG. I appreciate that. It looks like there's nothing numbered here either. So, Luigi, unfortunately, you're out. Now we're down to our last couple spots in Diamond Kings to wrap this one up. Mitchell has eight packs.
pull another box and see what we can find for you, Mitchell. Actually, we're not done yet. I see that Nick is grabbing four spots in Diamond King. So Nick will have 27, 28, 29, and 30. So actually, this box and one more. Start with Mitchell first. You'll have the first eight packs. So we'll leave the bottom four for Nick. Move those off to the side. Here's all yours, Mitchell. Good luck. 15 is the lead card right now. So Nick will have these four and then an entire second box. We have final anniversaries done. The only thing left is one final case of Series 2 after Diamond Kings. So that'll be coming up here in just in about a minute or two. Let's see if Nick can walk it off. But first, let's check out Mitchell, he's got a card here, with a number on it, Acuna. It's a 42 out of 99 on the artist proof. Jake Berger. Gray frame. Trevor Story Plum, not numbered. And we've got Christian Pache, who might be the worst player in the big leagues this year. It's his autograph, and it unfortunately is not numbered. Let's look at his stats. Absolutely abysmal. So Mitchell, unfortunately, you're out. And it comes down to this. Nick versus James. 27 to 30, Nick with four spots. It's a grand total of uh, four times four, 16 packs. We'll start with these ones. So we'll get the next box for you. It's Kirby Puckett. Oh, we've got a nice downtown hit, Mitch Hanniger. So not the biggest name. Hanniger is not as collectible as some of the other guys. But there's the case hit, the downtown. A very nice one right there. I see Christopher Mason just grabbed some spots in the Tops break. We'll get you out in Max Freed. That one is not numbered. Nothing else here. So Nick has an entire second box. And then this one will be over. We'll get into the next round. Let's see if Nick can walk it off with this box. See if we picked you out a winner here. Gamer likes the moose on the downtown card. It was pretty nice. Everyone always likes the downtown cards for Panini. I'm going to put Christopher Mason in who grabbed one pack. So Christopher Mason, you have spot number 50 in the 2022 Next Case Series 2. All right, Nick's got this entire pack or entire box. We'll do uh, we do like six at a time or so, just in case you walk it off. We'll send you the rest of them sealed. The lead card is a fifteen right now in Diamond Kings. Bobachet fifteen out of ninety nine. Justin, we have nine spots left in the final case of the night for Series Two Jumbos. Francis, there's a UFO in one of the Yankees downtown cards, and I cannot figure out why. That's weird. I don't really associate UFOs with uh, New York City. And look at this. Just like that, it's over. A two... Out of 25, Nick has done it again. He's walked it off, and it's thanks to the black-framed, numbered Lou Gehrig. So, James, close, but you got upset there at the end. There's the rest of the cards, and Nick, I can indeed send the rest of these packs to you sealed, although you might want me to open this one. This one's super thick. I don't know. If you want me to open, let me know. Maybe it's just like a, probably a relic out of 25 or something like that. I'll leave it sealed unless you tell me otherwise. 
Nick has walked off. Now we're going into our final case of the night. It is the 20. It says you can open them. All right, we'll open them up. And then we'll get to the final case of the night. There's a very thick card right there. Congrats, Nick. All right, we'll see. Oh, you have a, uh, oh boy. This might be a Wander Franco. Yep, holy cow, it's a Wander Franco signature Diamond King autograph card. How about that, Nick? What a nice box. Not only does it give you the case, you get a Wander Franco autograph with it. So good thing we opened this up or we wouldn't even have known that that was in there. And there's also going to be a very thick relic as well. And this is a very, very valuable hit as well as, as I I think. I don't think I've pulled too many of these. Le Cinq Pin Bay. I probably totally mispronounced that. I don't know French. But uh, that's a pretty cool card right there. That's the first time, at least tonight, that we've pulled one of these. And it says uh, they're really, really tough to pull on the side of the box. It says look for those. And we just found that as well. And their art is proof. Joey Votto, 12 out of 49. That one would have done it as well. So either way, you were going to uh, end up taking the case one way or another. Now let's see what we've got here. Roanzi Contreras was the super thick card. There it is, 7 out of 50. You had three different ways to take it. Here's those last two base cards. Man. Definitely some, uh, definitely some interesting stuff in <laughs> those last packs. Congratulations, Nick. Um, Dreamer says, hey, Nick, thanks for letting Jabs open the rest. Some of the best stuff in that entire round was in that last uh, six packs. Hot box for sure. Nick, congratulations. Lots of good stuff in that final box. And now let's go to the final round of this entire break. It's gonna be the third and final case of series two. Let's see if we can hit a J-Rod autograph or a short print. Let's see if I can get these boxes pulled out of here. Last one of the night. We'll probably be here until right around 1 a.m. It's likely gonna be our stop time. It usually takes about 40 about oh, 40 minutes to go through a case of jumbos. Yeah, that Diamond Kings, uh, that was pretty good. There's some nice cards in there. I also have some cases of 2021 Diamond Kings I just kind of unearthed. The Ronald Acuna is a $120 card right there. Very, very nice. Um, did you see my question? It says Fitzy. I did not. Nick says, can you auction all the Diamond King stuff? Sure. So all the stuff that you just saw, guess what? It'll be available in Nick's auction. Uh, Fitzy says, what's your next rookie card? Do you want the Hank Aaron rookie card? That's definitely on the list. I got Clemente and Hank Aaron on my list. Congrats, Nick. We'll put all that stuff you just saw up for auction. Coming up, uh, I got to see who's I'm going to do next. I got Nick's, I've got Carlos's, and I've got Rob's. So I'll, I'll decide... Uh, so probably tomorrow morning, I'll, I've got to go through Nick's and Rob's and see. I already opened up Carlos's stuff. One way or another, they'll get done over the next uh, week or so. Over the next three auctions. So here's our box topper. Sword packs. Matthew's going to lead things off in this final case of the evening. Matthew looking for his first W of the night. See that Bob just grabbed a couple packs. Let's go and get you added in here. Bob, you're going to have spot number 51 and 52. And Christopher Mason, I already got you at 50. So and good luck to Matthew. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. First, we're going to start off with the Sandy Leone. 520 will be our lead card for the time being. Might not last too long, but it's a top card for now.
pack number two. We've got Ronzi Contreras. The mix says pull that mantle short print. I'd love to. We'll see if we can find it. Push some of these packs down in here a little bit. Some of these pack wrappers, I should say. Next up, there's Dan Vogelback, who's now in the Mets. Got a nice one here, Alex Wood out of 71. It's a 40. That's the new leader. 40, not too bad. Probably you're going to need something in the single digits, though. Garrett Cole. Unnumbered relic. Next up. What do we have here? There's Aaron Hicks. Oh, there it is. There's the J-Rod I literally just said four packs ago. Let's see if we can find the J-Rod autograph. And there it is. And it's going to be numbered out of 199 as well. So if you didn't grab a spot in this break, there's literally, actually, there's, I think, eight spots left right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to go after this, we're going to break out the one touch with the black border for this big boy right here. The J-Rod rookie autograph numbered out of 199. So let's go ahead and take care of this bad boy. And then we'll see what it's numbered out of first. It's going to be a 102. So it's not even going to be the uh, lead card. But I'm going to leave it on the screen because that is an awesome hit right there. Go ahead and... Get this bad boy one touch with the slick black border one touch. There it is. Rebellion Sports Cards just grabbed some spots. So let me go ahead and I see another payment. This one might be sold out now. I saw at least two payments pop up here. The number again was uh, 102 out of 199. So... Let's see what we've got going on here. Hit the activity button. So Bob had two. So it's uh, Justin Collins taking three. I think we're sold out. Justin Collins has 53, 54, and 55. Rebellion Sports grabbed two. 56 and 57 bought. Yeah, we got one pack left. Pack 60 is the last one left. One pack left. So if you want it, just ask for it first so we don't oversell it. Someone like claim it. And uh, we are sold out. Jackson Blake sent in for five, but a little too late there to get all five of them, Jackson. So, Jackson, I'm going to refund. Let me go ahead and uh, put this here. We're sold out for this round. That J-Rod, I figured that would probably bring everyone else out. So, Jackson, I have to refund all of your money except for one pack worth. So let me go do that now so we're all settled up. Let me figure out what that would be, first of all. Um, let's just do 27 times 4 equals that. All right, so I owe you this. Jackson, your money's back. All right, so let's go back and go through these. Yeah, Jackson, we could get you for one. Just a whole bunch of payments came in all at once as soon as that J-Rod came out there, and there's still some spots left. 40. Uh, yeah, Bob, you did get two more slots. 50. What did I tell you? 50 and 59. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, 50 and 59 for you, Bob. All right, next spot for Matthew. We've got a 269 on the advanced stat. Sandy Leone. Nothing else numbered in this one. Got Dean Kramer there. Nothing numbered here. We're all sold out of everything, actually, now. I don't have any spots left tonight. 
that's everything that's left. This is the last case that I had. Next up, nothing numbered here either. We'll flip them all over. Matthew's going to need to get that 40 a little lower here to feel good about that going forward. 40 is not a very strong number. Reggie Jackson's a short print. Got to find like a Mother's Day or a Father's Day or a camo would be nice. Put some of these base cards away. Dr. Joe says, I didn't think the hanger boxes would sell out that fast. They actually didn't sell out. I think we only ended up selling like 17 of them. We just did them a lot earlier. So like since we've already done that round, uh, it, that's, in fact, a lot of the rounds we didn't completely sell out, but this uh, this one sold out. So since we've already done the hanger box, I can't go back and redo them now. That wouldn't be fair. We've already got people that uh, we've told them they've taken the, uh, taken the W on those hangers. All right, Matthew, here we go with this next one. Nothing numbered here either. Down to the last pack. Pack number 10. There's something here. Unfortunately, it's a 1972 gold card on the Bailey Over. So, 40 is what Matthews left to work with. Next up, it's Chris and Cindy Morales. Let's see what they can find. They've got four packs in this spot. What do I think about Josh Naylor auto rookie cards? Hey, I bought one for $6 a few months ago. I think they're a nice low investment. Low risk investment, I should say. these over here, get these first four packs for Chris and Cindy. A big J-Rod on the line, and just like that, first pack, 33 is going to get the job done and knock Matthew off. Now, 33 is not quite good enough. So I'm going to continue to open the packs because I don't think that the 33 is going to last. So let's open these other three. If it was in the teens, I'd probably say, yeah, we'll leave these packs. But 33, I don't think that's going to be quite good enough. But you never know. But it's it's low percentage chance. Nothing numbered here. Next pack up, you got um, something numbered here. It's an Aaron Judge, 55 out of 75. Corbin Burns is not numbered either. Actually, I pulled the one of one of that card, that relic. I think it may have been for Jack Holland in one of those breaks. All right, Chris and Cindy, you are the leaders, but let's see if we can improve that 33 here. Got the autograph for you. It's going to be Tim Raines, Hall of Famer Tim Raines. Nice one. Our second Hall of Fame auto out of Series 2 tonight. Also had a Carlton Fisk earlier. That one's not numbered, though. Neither was the Carlton Fisk. So, Chris and Cindy, hopefully you're going to be content with that 33. Kevin Newman's up next. Spot number 15. So, we had a J-Rod and a Bobby Witt autograph in our series two cases tonight and that's why people love buying the series two cases there's a 410 for those big name autos next for kevin he's got the call your shot card there 
Joey Gallo. Nothing else there. So Kevin, unfortunately, is out. Next up, Carrie, spot number 17. Cement is on the top. Johnny Bench picked up a couple of his cards at the card show tonight for only a quarter apiece. Some nice bargain box cards at the card show that I stopped off at. Chris and Cindy are back. Hey, I think we got to keep opening these, don't we, Chris and Cindy? I don't think 33 is going to be good enough. So let's continue to hunt for something better. There's Chris Bubich. It's a 382. O'Neill Cruz. So I'm going to end up owing you another pack in the next box. Let me get some of these base cards put away because the stack's getting too tall. Here we had a Bobby Witt auto in the first case. We had a Wander Franco auto in the Diamond Kings case. And just hit the J-Rod. So some nice uh, autographs tonight for sure. Maybe we'll have another one. Also had a couple Hall of Fame autographs. Let's do Chris and Cindy's next pack. Nothing numbered there. Cindy says, we got this. Fingers crossed. You're the, uh, you're the leaders after... One third of the case. 272 on the Taylor Widener. All right, so I owe you one more pack from the next box. Have I ever pulled a gold 0001? Um, I don't know. I remember pulling a 0003 before, I think twice actually. That's the one. Thumb in my head, I can't remember. Box topper P. Alonso. All right, for Chris and Cindy, here's that first and last pack. First pack from the box, last pack that I owe you from this run of four. And. 301 on the Yohel Pozo. 301. Nothing else numbered there. So hang on. It's going to be a wild ride the rest of the way. Edward at spot number 22. And Edward has unfortunately nothing numbered there. Spot number 23 is going to be for Brandon Simmons. And if I'm not mistaken, this particular case was not completely sold out once we went live. So i got to make up a couple cards here. 24 through 28. Jackson Blake with five spots at 29 through 30. I won't do the entire case. I'll just do a couple of these cards here. 29 30 at Bob. And at, oh man, look who's coming back. 31 through 40. Nick Domino has the, an entire box. So it's going to get kind of interesting here with some of the uh, high rollers taking a swing at that. J Rod, Jackson, and Nick. We'll see what they can do here. There's a 490 on the Kervin Castro. 14, Derek Jeter. And there it is. Derek Jeter, 14 out of 199. So Chris and Cindy have been bumped out. I didn't think the 33 would last as long as it did. But uh, there it is. Derek Jeter, there's the new lead card, 14. And Brandon Simmons is now our leader. Congratulations, Brandon. That would be pr a pretty nice haul right there. Nice Derek Jeter out, out of 199. Game used relic. It's a very, very nice card. A lot of people would like to have that one. But even better, you got the J-Rod Rookie Auto there in that one touch. All right, so Jackson's going to come and try to take it away from you now. Uh, Sweet Hayes says we paid for another four packs. I don't know who you are exactly, Sweet Hayes. What's your real name? Are you Chris and Cindy? 
if you are Chris and Cindy, you're at 44 through 47, so you will have another run of four coming up. All right, Jackson, let's go ahead and see what we have in your four. One, two, three, four, five. Hey says that's not good. We paid for another four. Yeah, like I just said, you must be on a delay. You have another four. I had you down for three spots of four. There's Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich not numbered. Nothing else there. We have a numbered card here, Max Muncy, 29 out of 299. Gibbs of Sweet Haze, we had you down for um, 11 through 14, 18 through 21, and your third set is 44 through 47. It's coming up. I just didn't get a chance to make the cards yet since you paid during the live stream. Jackson's next pack. Nothing numbered here. On to the next one. Silver Slugger card will be numbered. Mike Piazza. It's going to be a 71 out of 299. It's not going to be the Jeter. Of 14 and Jackson's last pack. Wow, look at that. Jackie Robinson, five out of ten. Jackie Robinson, red out of ten, five of ten. So Jackson, with a little last pack magic of his own, knocks Brandon out. And now we'll see if Jackson can hang on. Five of ten on the Jackie with high stakes with the uh, big J-Rod Auto up there. So, Jackson, congratulations. You move up to the top spot. Bob's coming up next. He has these two packs. Good luck to you, Bob. 29 and 30, which will be halfway through this case. Unfortunately, this pack doesn't have anything numbered in it. White Sox Tom says, wow, what a case. It is shaping up to be a very good case. That J-Rod by itself makes it a very, very good case. Got something here, however. It's an Andre Cimenez 1505. Uh, J-Rod's just like that in a PSA 8 or $1,400 right now on eBay. In a PSA 8, that one went straight to a one-touch there, Jackson. So imagine if you can get a 10 on that. I hope, I really hope that uh, whoever ends up taking that J-Rod can get a 10. Took it right from the pack right into the one-touch. And even put a sleeve over top of it to make sure the surface stays perfect. All right, so Bob is out. Next up, Nick taking in a whole box. Nice little battle here, Nick versus Jackson. Nick's got the next entire box. After Nick, coming up, spot number 41. We have Bob coming back, giving it a second attempt. Might as well make his card form right now. Spot 42 and 43. We have James. Spot 44 through 47. We have Chris and Cindy Morales back again with four packs. At 48 and 49, we got Edward Grimes with two and 50. It's going to be for Christopher Mason. All right, Nick, let's see what we can find for you here. Mix says, like spike intermission, 236 likes. Thanks to everyone that has hit the like button. really appreciate that. There's still a couple of you out there that may not have. If, uh, if you wouldn't mind doing it, that'd be awesome. 
Jackson says, I hope it holds. These showdowns are always a good time. We'll see. It'll be uh, it's a pretty good number. Two uses. This is high drama. It's a very, very good number. Five is solid. Very, very solid number. However, I think in the other case we had a one end up taking it all. So we'll see. You never know. Let's go ahead and start with Nick's entire box. Alrighty, so for Nick, got a number card here. It's a Mike Trout 245 on the gray. Nothing else in this one. Next pack. Gerardo Parra is there, but that's pretty much it. It's not even numbered. It's just a gold foil. Next pack. Gage Toast says, I just hit the like. I forget sometimes. I appreciate that, man. Numbered card here. It's Yon Adon, 480 out of 499. Jared Kelnick. Game used jersey card. And nothing else in that one for Nick. Nick trying to go home with back-to-back -back cases. He took Diamond Kings with a nice walk-off. And, man, for a second there, I thought he had a printing plate. But it's just a die-cut card. I don't think I've ever pulled a printing plate. There's a nice Xander Bogarts out of um, any Series 2. I don't think I've pulled any printing plates yet. Bogarts, nice auto, not numbered. Definitely some nice autographs in this case. Next pack up, we have an Eddie Murray. That's a short print. Nothing else in this one. Pack number six of ten for Nick. This one has the Mike Trout Call Your Shot card, but no numbered cards. On the pack number seven. Jackson has 23 more packs that he has to get through. And this is not going to have any numbered cards. The Tony Gwynn is not numbered. Just a regular run-of-the-mill manufactured patch, which we all pretty much hate, but we got to deal with them. Three more packs left for Nick. Something's upside down here. Jack Flaherty. It's probably just one of those blues or purples. Yep, nothing numbered there. And now it's down to two. Nothing numbered there either. So Jackson versus Nick. Final pack. Two boxes remain in the entire evening for us. Got a Giants card. It's going to be an eighteen ninety nine. So, Nick, thank you very much. But you have been e officially, not officially, you've been eliminated. Moving on to the next box. Bob's coming back at spot number 41. 20 more packs Jackson has to get through. He's got a 5 out of 10 right now as the lead card. And who knows what's in those silver packs. Big Julio Rodriguez auto. Big card so far. Garrett Cole, it's just going to be a blue. Not numbered. Garrett Cole in a nice race for the strikeout crown this year. He's got some competition up there with guys like Dylan Cease and Shane McClanahan. Lots of guys giving him some competition. We'll see who ends up taking it. So, Bob, unfortunately, you're out. James coming up next with two packs.
David says, are these hobby boxes? These are jumbo. These are jumbo boxes. So it's like, see that H? So they're jumbo hobbies. So every box has an autograph, a relic, and a manufactured relic. That's what you want to look for. If you're ever sure, if you see a pack, you want to know if it's hobby or not, look for that H logo. It's a 187 on the Yanni Hernandez. Got Yanni Molina game used bat, but not numbered. As the J-Rod sits, it's got to be worth at least 800 Yeah, in ungraded condition, probably. If you get a nine on that, man, that card's going to be probably like at least two grand, I would imagine. All right, Chris and Cindy, you've got four packs. Here you go. This is your last shot. They have three slots of four. And they were the leader for a little while with a 33. And we've got Trey Ambergi there. That's not going to be numbered. <clears throat> so that takes us down to three packs left for Chris and Cindy. Got something here. It's going to be a Walker Bueller short print, though. Really got to hope you could find a camo or something like that to give yourself a shot. Even if you find a camo card numbered out of 25, still, you only have about a 20% chance of wrestling that card away from Jackson. That's how good his card is right now. Nothing numbered here. Here's their last pack. Nothing going on there. So unfortunately, Cindy and Chris, you are eliminated. Spot number 48. It's for Edward Grimes and 49. Got Juan Yepes, nice card there. This one's definitely worth sleeping up. This is gold card, however, it's a 1080. Nothing else happening there. Next pack up, pack number 49. Nothing there. So, 11 more packs for Jackson to get through. Got to get through Christopher Mason first. And then you'll be in the very last box of the evening. Sitting right up there off top left. Numbered card here, Cutter Crawford. Good baseball name, 1,002 out of 2022, though. So it comes down to this last box. Christopher is out. Jackson with a 5 out of 10. Looking pretty solid right now. Going to have to take just a second to fill up a couple name cards here. This last box is all these spots were sold after that J Rod autograph was pulled. So it's spot number 51 and 52. We have Bob with two packs. Spot number 53 through 55. We got Justin Collins. With three packs, spot number 56 and 57, we have Rebellion Sports Cards with two. And at the 58 and 59, let's go put them on the same uh, same card for you, Bob. We'll keep that card around. We've got 58 and 59. Spot number 60 for Jackson, who is already the leader right now. So he, may, he might not even, uh, not even need it. Two cards showing. We've got the Jackie Robinson, 5 of 10. That's the lead card. And the big pull of this case was that J Rod Auto out of $199 worth at least $800 in raw condition. I'll show it to you right now, Eli. If you missed the pull of it, this is, uh, this is the card. Julio Rodriguez, Rookie Auto. 
big card right there. All right, Bob, here we go. 51 and 52. Jackson's got to be sweating it out. Trace Thompson, 1768 on the gold card. Nothing else going on there. Here's pack number 52. Go ahead and move this off to the side, or Bob's name off to the side, and come back to him. I don't see any numbered cards here. We'll flip them over. Jake's Toast says that would look nice in this um, SGC slab. Yeah, definitely. All right, so next... 53, 54, and 55 for Justin Collins. It's going to be a 1385 on the Jock Pierce and also Christian Yelich, unnumbered relic. That's it for that pack. Next pack up. David says, do you have to be a Patreon member to buy into the breaks? Yeah. Yeah, we reserve all the breaks for Patreon members only. So if you'd like to sign up for it, it's $4.99 to sign up over there. Oh, look at this. Holy cow. Can you believe what has just happened, folks? A Fernando Tatis and Manny Machado. Look at the number on it. It's a five out of five. A huge pull right there. Somehow, Jackson has just been defeated. They both have fives, but the rules are, if there's a tie, the denominator is the tiebreaker. Jackson had a 10. Justin has a five. And, J wow, J Jackson, I thought for sure you were going to breeze on through and take it. Now, Jackson does have one final pack left, but Justin Collins, take a look at this. Five of five, Fernando Tatis. This is one touchable. Let's go ahead and put that in a one touch. I know Tatis is way down, um, but man, that Machado, is, he's having a great season. What a huge pull. What a huge case. Congratulations on that one. What a nice case here to wrap things up. Justin Collins, you are the leader. Man, that's going to be tough to beat. But you know what? Someone could pull a one out of 2022 and totally ruin it for Justin. So, Justin, here's your lifeline pack. We're down to five packs left. 56, 57 Rebellion Sports Cards. James says that's a $500 plus dollar card right there. So, I mean, these two cards alone, probably $1,300 or so. Just in those two. Unfortunately, nothing numbered here. So some excitement as we play out here on this now Sunday morning at 1 a.m. Silver Slugger won't be numbered. Let me flip it over and show you just to prove it. Chuckle says, well, here comes the printing plate. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Rebellion is out. We're back to Bob at 58 and 59. And the last spot is going to be for Jackson. He's going to try to get his uh, try to get his spot back here. All righty. Bob, 58-59. Probably 19 out of 20 times that 5 out of 10 would have ended up uh, being enough. But uh, the moon is just right tonight, I guess. Kenley Jansen, short print. Nothing else here. All right, Bob, here's pack 59. Only two packs left on the evening, folks. Bob's got one. Jackson has the other. He's going to try to get his try to get his uh, big J-Rod back. We'll see if he can do it here. First, Bob is up. 59. What a nice case this one was. There's the uh, case hit. Raphael Devers, home field advantage. It's not um, numbered. 
back so the card's there and here it is bob unfortunately you're out jackson versus justin let's see if jackson can get it back it's his last chance Two uses back-to-back -back weeks with something crazy happening at the end. You just never know what's going to happen with these uh, cards. All right, Jackson. Look at this. You have something out of 75. You have a shot. He has a shot here. Save that for last. That's your only numbered card. It is a one of those awful diamond gem cards, which I hate, but now they might be your new best friends. New, new best friend, White Sox Thompson. This might be the best Series 2 case I've opened. Definitely one of the best, for sure, if not the best. John says Jackson is probably on the floor crying right now. Well, he's not done yet. This could end up walking it off for him. He needs that first number to be a zero. Get out of here! It's a four out of 75! Jackson is taking it back in the very last pack! And he's walked it off. He is up off the floor. He is no longer crying. Maybe he's crying for joy. Can you believe that? Four out of 75. Pocket says Jackson needs a defibrillator right now. Justin, I cannot believe what has just happened. Jackson had a five out of 10. He was sailing through in the very last box. And Justin comes along, pulls a five of five with a massive Tatis and Machado. His win probability went to like 99.99%. And then, wouldn't you know it, in true dramatic Saturday showdown walk-off fashion, Jackson gets the job done with a 4 out of 75 on the Ichiro Gold Foil Diamond Gem card. So, Jackson, I cannot believe it. But uh, you know what, folks? We're not quite done just yet. <laughs> Justin has one pack left up there in a lifeline pack. I, I couldn't write this. Like, if I was making this up, I couldn't write this. <laughs> He's got a backup pack. Here we go. Can Justin, in his lifeline pack, take it back? Wouldn't that be crazy if this is like a 3 out of 50 or something in here? Here we go. Jackson says, OMG, what are the odds? Got to tip the dealer with a $20 Super Chat. Jackson, thank you very much, but not so fast. Let's check Justin's final pack. He's got something in here upside down, and it's freaking numbered. It's a gold card, <laughs> so it's not over yet. Let's see if there's anything else numbered in here before we go to it. Man, wouldn't that be something? Jackson's, Jackson's already, you know has the mindset that he's taking it but there's this one final chance for justin need that first number to be a zero on the pablo lopez and uh why don't you freaking know what it is oh man you need the next number to also be a zero it's not it's a 275 close there pablo lopez Made us stop and think, but Justin has been eliminated with probably one of the biggest upsets all year. Jackson Blake ends up taking it with a massive Machado and uh, Tatis, J-Rod, and the Itra is what got the job done for you. Amazing. Absolutely amazing ending right there. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. We're not done quite yet. We've got those silver packs. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls something crazy out of these as well. Let's see what he can find. This will be the end of this Saturday showdown for Jackson. So good luck, Jackson. Let's see if we can put some more icing on your cake, so to speak. That was a fun case. That was a nice way to end the night. Go out with the bang there. High drama. Lots of lead changes. Improbable wins. Maybe we'll have another autograph in here. Wouldn't that be something if, uh, like a Wander Franco autograph? I'm trying to think what's the best auto we can possibly find in here. Maybe that or Griffey. I don't think J Rod has a silver pack card, so he wouldn't be in here. Mike Trout auto, something like that. 
Let's see what we've got. There's the Wander Franco. We'll sleeve that for Jackson. Got a blue of John Carlos Stanton out of 150. And there's the autograph. So he does have some extra luck. Nick Fortes, rookie auto, numbered out of 199 with the bonus auto. So congratulations on that. What a nice case. This ended up being Babe Ruth Green out of 99. Save the best case for last. Hey, Chuckles, we thought the exact same thing. I didn't even read that. It came up at the same time I was saying it. So there you have it, folks. Series 2. Series 2 Jumbos, definitely, uh, for my money, one of the uh, best rips out there. Going after those J-Rod cards. We got the J-Rod Auto. We got the Bobby Wood Auto. And we got some awesome other stuff along the way as well. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Check us out tomorrow. We'll have a brand new video for you. I might do the, one of the South Carolina videos tomorrow. And uh, also we'll have a consignment auction, big consignment auction, lots of great stuff. These guys have great collections, and they've sent us a bunch of the stuff to auction off, so I hope you'll tune in for that. Have a great rest of your Saturday evening, and I will see you all tomorrow.